suffering time. The time to suffer is here. It is time for suffering. Yeah. Because it's three. It's three times the hands. Three times the suck. And I'm not talking about the difficulty. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I should do a run on the easiest difficulty. Then again. These are perfectly fine the way they are. This is also perfectly fine the way it is. Uh -huh. This is overkill. I mean, when, when do people need this? Come on. Anyhow, you're doing hard. Everything on hard. <gasps> Only four card. I can't even get the fucking druid. So someone brought it to my attention that the tainted druid is only tainted for like 150 turns and then they auto magically become normal druid on turn 151 just like meh because it's a balancing option the same with the tainted shaman apparently that also just auto magically becomes a normal goblin shaman once x amount of turns are passed i didn't know that big whoop too late i'm not doing that again I don't have enough points to get a fucking dru druid, because I think they cost five. So that's gonna suck. This is gonna suck. Um, challenge difficulty increase. Large. So we had small, I think, last time. I th think? Not sure. But it's gonna be large increase the challenge difficulty. So, let's say... Gosk at the end was like 16 physical. Let's think that he's gonna be 20. So basically just farm before going to him. And also auto resolve proficiency is going to be poor. Now I don't know what good normal and poor mean. Normal is probably no bonus, no negative. It already is worse than manual. Especially since it's all over the fucking place. So the research is needed. I don't know how much they add, like how, how much better it becomes. But I have a feeling it's going to be a very slow run, especially in the beginning, where I have to manually fight shit like bees and, and fucking rats and snakes, <laughs> because auto resolve is just going to give me like fucking failure every time. Uh, this we know and love. This we know and love. Rogue group spawn rate frequent, well, yeah. I feel like the frequent and the quick world progression is going to be the one that fucks me a lot of times. Hello, fluffy dragonfly, hello, welcome. Finish Gosk might with your last run, 1.3k turns, or when? Yes, last run. Uh, the previous stream was when I finished Gosk might with the elves, but I finished it with the Zoria group as well. Like, I don't know, a week and a half ago. I think I uh, I labeled it in the collections, if you wanna... You wanna find it. But yeah, it's the it's the last the last stream. Around 1300 turns, yeah. Hello. Call removed from starting island, we know. I also don't know what resource availability means. Is it just less resources overall, or do they need higher uh, gathering to collect? Like, do they take longer? I, I think it's only just take longer, but I guess we'll see. Same hex only we know and love. All seasonal effects, obviously, because we love wind. <laughs> Starting season winter. Yeah, ruins hard. Oh yeah, this might also be annoying. Conscious Ruin Farm, and no manual saves, so if the game crashes, or something else happens, I'm fucked. <laughs> Although, the game hasn't really crashed ever, so that's fine. Thought your prior run was lost? No. 
The one before the elves? No, the one before the elves uh, was also victory. I did the darkness uh, for the lightbringers. I did the, uh, what is it, the orc necromancers uh, route. And then I did Gosk. And I beat his ass. Didn't even take damage. <laughs> what did I choose as a gift? After the Gosk fight, I didn't choose. I stayed as I was both uh, both times. I didn't uh, turn my chosen into anything. I was eyeing the un unliving dragon. Less resources overall for the uh, abundance. Oh, that sucks. So we're gonna run around like a like a headless chicken. <laughs> People said on the forums that the first 150. 200 turns are the crucial ones after that. If you can survive that long, it will start to kinda... You will be able to catch up. Uh, yeah, it's gonna suck. I was debating uh, whether to do Naya or Triglav. Because Triglav is going to give us that extra experience. So while we're running around helplessly trying to find a spot to put our ass down, It'll gain some XP, but Naya's not dead yet is 10% death resist. 10%! That's almost a maxed out healer for everybody. That's super good, actually. So, yeah. But I don't want to go with goblins and, and inventors. What, what what does she get, anyways? Can she gets rats and scoundrels, inventor. Pirate child could be nice. That's garbage. That's garbage. For four points, a young the ice demon. They are not good. They fall off mid-game on normal difficulty. I don't think they're going to be okay here. Goblin Child Scavenger, Goblin Skirmisher. There's that Goblin Shaman. Four points, that would be all my thing. I would start with one character, yeah, that no. <laughs> and a bunch of fucking garbage. Young Polar Bear, Royal Snake. I definitely want to take an Elf Slave. Elves are just like... It's too overpowered. I need a slave. <laughs> hey, Bob. Hello. Wait, is the chat not working? Like, Or am I just super late? Hold on. Say something in chat. I want to see if the overlay works or not. Because I, I just don't see it. Do I struggle choosing? Yeah. I mean, most of the gods are fucking useless when it comes to their traits. I mean, Hortz is okay if you want to be active only during the day, or during the night. And also want to suffer with gathering and random challenges during the day. I mean, it's only like, what, 10% or 20% negative? Okay, the overlay works. Watch your mobile. A 15 to 20 second delay? Holy fuck! Damn! You really trust people on the internet? I mean, not all people, Bob. Seems like somewhat a lot. Yeah, that seems like a lot. I mean, people on PC have three to five seconds delay. <laughs> wow, mobile people are getting shafted. Struggle choosing after Gosk might. Oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The choices are too OP. Some are not that overpowered. I mean, why would you want to turn your chosen into a... What was it? A... Like, what is it? A, a blue dragon or some shit? Those... I don't think they are the strongest thing. I mean, the sea serpent. Also, the, the sea thing. The sea thing is just, why would you want to be a sea thing? It's hideous, for one. For two, it's it's a sea creature. It probably gets bonus during tra water travel, but not on land. So why the fuck? Although, at that point, you're basically only doing the sea meters, so it's okay. But I mean, it's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I I never I, I for the two times out of two I didn't choose a different transformation. I was okay with it, but yeah um I checked the gods what I want. Swarog could be a thing for crafting, and it gives an extra four health and sanity. That's early on could be nice. That could be could come in clutch. Mokosh has cool things, you know, those buffs and stuff, you know, but Mokosh is absolutely the worst fucking thing. Because you can't have jewelry. Like, what is wrong with you? Even Stribug is better. 
even though he's mostly useless. But goddamn, Mokosh with the no jewelry? Trash. So yeah, I was debating between Naya or Triglov, but I like the uh, the cards for Triglov more. So I'm going to go with Triglav. I also see I also got more mods! More mods! To try and little bit uh not all of them are to help me. Some are uh, just uh, quality of life, like Xeno's attraction event. It's it kind of stimulates the first game's attraction, but it's based on loyalty. So I need to get 75 loyalty with a given faction before I can start recruiting or get uh, events where they join. So that's not going to be OP if I can't survive that long and can't uh, have friends uh, with other factions. Buffed buildings. Honestly, this just kind of makes the settlement viable endgame. Not, not really, not, not a lot of extra, look. Maximum scaling for healing, an extra 3 health per, per turn. The dwelling is unnecessary, 65 is already OP because you can make, you can get one food source, that there's your 75, and you need to make one food, like one crafted food to have 85, and the, uh, the settlement doesn't need 95 or 90 or 100 threshold, because that's just movement speed and vision that's not needed. So this is kind of unnecessary. The school is a nice quality of life, because we get a little faster research, and we get more research bonus for the people who are researching in the settlement. That will speed things up a little bit, if I can go that far. Child Playground is overpowered. So I'm, I'm happy about that. If I can craft a maxed out playground, it's gonna give six attributes to every child. <laughs> no more chance. We're gonna get get whatever we want. And we can have the uh, gathering stuff scale to T3 with maximum essence. But then again, I need to craft them on maximum essence first. So you know, it's not gonna be immediately overpowered. It's not as overpowered as building overhaul. I'm not using that. Also, I think these are incompatible. Yeah. So, it's fine. And the farm can give us, like, dogs and wolves and crows, probably, instead of goats and, and, and horses. I don't know what veggie pets are, I, I have no fucking idea. I uh, also got healing kits of Thea. This might be a little, a little help on hard difficulty. These are basically, they go into the same slot as the uh, gathering and crafting tools, but they give uh, health sanity or faith regeneration plus like death chance or death resist chance not a lot one two or three percent if you max them out but i mean hey and only to the person wearing them so it's not group wide so you know for like mainline people who are not gathering or crafting but only fighting this this makes sense spawn all villages is i tested this and it works because i was upset very upset that I didn't get uh, forest demons and stingers in the previous uh, run even though I, I kind of wanted those to be like I wanted elves beasts and forest demons as the main population and I couldn't because there were no forest demon uh, villages or stinger villages this actually works I tested it run, ran around in multiple maps loaded it uh, loaded new games multiple times on small small islands uh, to see if because normally small on small islands you don't get all of them but this one spawned everybody on, on small islands at least on the starter biome scavengers slavians and stingers are always present so i have a feeling it works which is very good also i keep pet visuals one-handed ones better blubber lighter jewelry because yes and faster leveling because you know i just like these make things a little faster and better i feel like and these are just the example mods they don't do anything i got some extra mods but not a lot all right now oh, let's catch up with chat because <laughs> i saw it moving but i don't know what the hell you can finish gosk might in turn in 180 turns i mean yeah if you know what you're doing and if you really want to sweat Struggle choosing of the ghost? Yeah, yeah. You have 5 second delay? Yes, Bob. You are the master race. Can't properly choose auto quality and source, so it needs to be converted by Twitch firstly. Yeah. I mean, you can't choose any kind of quality on my uh, 
my streams because I'm not even affiliated, so you don't get these quality options. Only the only the trusted people get those. I'm sorry. Same thing is cool and can use weapons. It can summon ballista. Same for dragon. It can summon trolls. But the blue dragon, but the blue dragon is kind of. It looks so fruity. <laughs> Just like me, but in different game, you can summon dragon or trolls. It's nasty. Dog with pirate and 10% main attribute increase lets you finish in less than 200 if you want to rush it. A screenshot of 143 strained pirates. Jesus Christ. It's tree bug with pirate. Oh, because it gives you the speed so you can just zoom around. Can you start with a pirate? I guess you can get a pirate somehow. I don't know how to get a pirate if you can't start with one in like 200 turns. And come on. How do you get 10% main attribute increase? Because Tribble ain't gonna give you 10% main attribute increase. That's only movement speed. Unless the Roft gives you some kind of bonus. Hmm. Hmm. I also checked the Roft strat and it works. Rofts don't consume wood. Because you can't uh, craft and gather with them. So um, I might actually go with Stribug or... I don't know. There is a, uh, a Raft... Unlock Raft card. I don't know where. Raft! You could go with a special Raft. You can unlock it. I have 65 points, so I mean I can unlock something for now. But I don't know. Definitely want a hunter. I want a hunter. Oh, I can't have a hunter because I want an elf slave. Yep. 100% elf slave. So I got one point left. I can have two more kids. So if I survive for like, what, 30 turns, they can turn into humans. Or adults, not humans. They're already humans. Or I could have a scoundrel. I could have a warrior or an orc child. Mm. I mean, if I I checked the Wikipedia page for orcs and the elf grow-ups. So for elves, orcs and dwarves, if you don't have an adult in your party or if you don't and you don't have loyalty with the fa or friendly loyalty with the factions, they can only become gatherers or uh, crafters. So this orc child would only become a fucking gatherer or crafter. Although a gatherer would be nice. And after that we would have an orc in our group. So if I got a new orc child, they could become a warrior or a patriarch or anything like that. Wouldn't be bad. Although I feel like this is a very weak group for starting. But I want to keep my elf slave. I love the elves. They're dirty and they are overpowered. Although it might be better to just get a hunter, get rid of... Oh, Elf Slave is here. Get rid of that, and I could get a Craftsman? I don't want a Craftsman. Crafting early on, pointless. I could get a... Oh. The two kids. Or the Scoundrel. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I could have a pet dove in this slot. <laughs> Fucking useless. Yeah, there's no pirate recruitment here. I do have a new, with the healing kits mod, a new uh, card came. I can start with two healing kits. I might actually take those. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Even 1% extra death resist is 1%. You know? Or as demons are the worst faction anyways, you take that back. That is just, like, your opinion, man. <laughs> I mean, they are pretty trash, but the the whole point was the roleplay, you know, forest demons, beasts, and elves, because I was with Ziavana, so that's what I had to do. That's what I wanted to do, and the game said, no, I'm just not going to spawn them. <laughs> it wasn't Streebog, I guess. I thought it was Streebog. You need light blessing, though. Oh, I don't know who gives blessings. I mean, this guy gives blessing at night. 
Uh, this this guy gives blessing to anything that's you know elf, forest demon, or beast. But I, pirates are not that. This guy is fucking useless. <clears throat> this guy gives ritual bonus. This guy only gives speed, which is actually pretty good. This guy is just speed on water. This guy's crafting bonus. And some health and shit. Maybe it was her. Physical mental shielding. Bonus to gathering crafting. No, actually it's just some shielding. Eh. Also, I think the chosen special offensive skill that the Diviner command Divine Commander gives, it's random. <clears throat> because I got, like, what, Sacrificial Blood or whatever the fuck uh, when I was checking if the mods worked. So, depending on the special skill the Chosen gets, I might just immediately reroll. <laughs> I, I don't know. I need to min-max this, you know. Can have a raft from talents? Yeah, I know. But it's not as cool as Tribo Craft. Big update, you finished your last playthrough of New Vegas, and you were update, you named my next character, I'm not addicted. Yeah, me neither, man. I'm just binging. And you are binging too. It's not addiction. As long as you can just stop once you're done binging, it's not addiction. Imagine role-playing, I would never... I mean, I didn't either. Because I couldn't. Because the game said no. <laughs> can I have a pirate child from the intelligence traits? Oh. So the blue man. Yeah. So if you want to speedrun like a crazy person. But I mean, you would have to do the main mission as well. So you're saying that you do... Wait. Do you need to do the main mission for Bosk? When does that unlock? Is it time specific or is it uh, main mission advancement specific? I don't know how it unlocks. It just kind of happens at some point. But we're not going with Morrowit. He's fucking trash. Who else is intelligent? Oh, Lada has intelligence and harmony. Wait a minute. Her passive might be useless, but she can have pirates and elves. I mean, not with four points, but on easier difficulty, if you just pump this up, you can have. Oh my god, you can have the, the elf druid and the pirate child. Damn, that's actually pretty dope. Too bad her passive is kind of. I mean, her passive is good for speeding as well. If you just want quick loyalty, I guess, but let's not even look at them anymore. Let's decide what we want. Alpha Wolf, I don't want Real Snake. A Zerka, no. Clanless Smith, I'm guessing this is also something that's just nerfed for early game and then auto magically turns into a proper Smith. Same with the Zerka, but they are too expensive. I don't want Dwarves because they're slow. Orc Child, Warrior, Bandit Archer. It's three points for the Bandit Archer. I did that with the Zoya run. And it was decent, but not that good. Young Berserker. Boulder. Bear. Rat, a Scoundrel. Two kids. Craftsman, Gatherer, Warrior, Elf Slave. I could have two Warriors. I could just do this. And just face everything with physical. I could put the uh, the advanced equipment and like the uh, the family's heirloom or whatever that gives you another something. Oh yeah, again, Granny's pantry, advanced equipment here. You know, and I could do, unlock something for these two. Spatial awareness plus two wits. Oh, that's not bad. Plus two perception. Eight physical and mental shielding. That's actually pretty good for starting. I might just do this. Full on warriors. Okoshi's blessing. Gathering would also be good because warriors can't do gathering at all. They're trash. Pat. All food recipes unlocked. Mithril and goat. Oh, there it is, the family armor, the heirloom, quality piece of armor. 
Let's try that. Let's put family armor in here. Let's put... Okoshi's blessing in here. In the green. Eight physical and mental shielding. Right? So we can just run at people. I still have one point left, actually. I could have a giant spider instead. <laughs> Or a craftsman. Shite. Or, a, or an orc. Oh no, not the orc child, because that replaces the warrior. Or the two kids. Two kids. Get the blessing instead of the spider. But then I will only be able to get one more card, which will definitely be Granny's Pantry for the basic food item. So we don't immediately need food or the 40 basic supplies if it gives us 40 wood that can be uh... oh it can also be food uh, or herbs herbs would be pretty good hey we are we are tools we're tools I guess child yeah two children <coughs> regarding main cast oh sorry um Engulfed in the choices. Um, Lada is OP. Yeah, her cards are actually pretty good. Lot of a spider child and the light talent gives you 10% if you choose from uh, bonuses. Lot of us a pirate child. Was she? I'm not gonna go back to read. But they didn't give a bonus. Oh, you choose Lada. Yeah, yeah. Light talent gives you 10% bonuses. God fucking damn it. Ah, oh, yeah, inner peace. Yeah, but I'm not sweating. Get out of here. <laughs> Fuck, what what did I have? I'm gonna go with warriors. Where's the other warrior? Was there not another warrior? Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, family armor. Blessing. More kids. So we can sac- Actually, more kids is good because if my chosen dies, I can sacrifice the two kids. <clears throat> yeah. I'm gonna take Granny's Pantry because it might give me a good equipment. Like, it might give me, like, I don't know, a shield or some shit. I hope the characters start with some equipment, though. Yeah. Natural armor. Family armor. Sure, I don't give a fuck. This one looks cool. But if I have a warrior in the starter, it's always going to be my chosen. Mace! <clears throat> oh. We're going to go large Pangea, baby! I'm guessing you also choose small, small map, so you can finish it in 150 turns. You cheeser! You don't need, but you should. Go starts at 150, I think. If you finish main quest, you can choose to make your chosen pirate a, a brute. Well, hello there. Shut the fuck All up! Right. And get to the 143 strength I mentioned. Yeah, but you'd never need 143 strength. I mean, Dana in the previous run had like, what, 60 strength. And that was more than enough. Child, yes. Poor child. Both of the children will die. I will name them after you two. Because... Because they will die. <laughs> Where's Bob? This is Bob now. I already started with B and O, so, you know. <laughs> Alright, the only one that matters is the Chosen. 
give these to the chosen. Uh, six point six point eight. Yes, <laughs> I hope it rounds up. And this is zero point nine, but it has a better, better thing. You know what? Now you can you can keep this. Because the chosen will keep the sword. It gives more shielding. Hell yeah. This child starts with a club. Okay, take that off. Is this a warrior child? Oh, apprentice warrior, and this is the apprentice hunter. Yes. I keep forgetting that these two kids are always warrior and hunter preset. 40, although they have fucking 40 plus turns to, <laughs> to grow up. Oh no. <clears throat> Eight. This one has AoE, that one has first strike. We're gonna keep the first strike on that. We have a book. This is what the fucking thing gave me. A book. Well, break that book. So what do we get? We get 25, so we get enough food for 14 turns, 6 turns worth of wood. What does my chosen get as a, as a skill? They got natural armor. Oh, that's the thingy. Sacrificial blood again. Fucking sacrificial blood, again. I should just reroll immediately, but you know what? I'm not going to. We will die anyways. It's fine. There is wood immediately. The Pangea looks pretty fucked up. What the hell? The elves got shafted again. They got torn apart, but we don't care about them. There's a rogue goblin land here. Everything is reachable on land. This is a huge fucking map, though. Maybe I shouldn't go large Pangea. But hey, I love to suffer. Turn one. Eodor. Wait, what does he want? What does he- What does he want?! Explore, learn the ropes. Yeah, I learned, need to learn how to make ropes so I can hang myself. There's some, some food there. It's always the, uh, if it is not 200 turn, 2000. I never went to 2000 turns. I never need 2000 fucking turns. Maybe in this one I will need 2000 turns, but yeah, cursed run now, poor name choice. That's true. But hey, you chose the name first. <laughs> you don't need so much strength, so, I wanted to- Oh my god! Has... Shut up! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Want to see limits with a weapon to deal damage on entering battlefield? Same effect pirates have on anyways. Oh yeah, net shot. Net shot is super good. Deal 200 to 300 damage on placing your pirate. <laughs> so, I can, so I can basically just Place them three times and everybody dies. <laughs> or at least three cards, three enemies die immediately. So no need, but it's pretty busted to kill Gosk before he even have a turn to attack. I did that though. I did that on my Zoria run. I, I killed Gosk before he could do anything and I didn't need the uh, the pumped up shit. I also didn't have... Uh, I didn't have maxed out the gears either. Like I didn't have the top quality tier 5 stuff either. We were just fast as fuck thanks to Zoria and just generally stacking wits. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody leveled up already! Thank you, faster level up mod. I appreciate that. Bob Romix. Bob. Bob is not even here anymore. He's, he's addicting somewhere. <laughs> is this also a warrior? Yeah, alright. Are you the warrior? So Fluffy, Fluffy Dragonfly is the other warrior, and uh, Wittios, Wittios got fucked, so they're just going to get wits. They need perception, but they didn't get it. Oh, which way do I go? I kind of want to go up to this peninsula, because if this is safe, we can just immediately put down our roots and not care, you know? What? Oh shit, I messed up. Move a little back. I hate how there's fucking mountains, 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 all the way here, mountains. <laughs> the entire fucking area is just mountains and hills. Look at this. Look at this topography. We are, oh my god. I can't even get to the peninsula. The entire peninsula is just mountains. It's like walking into Mordor or something. Jesus. You're a noob on Thea. Wits is strong. Wits determines the speed during fight. Like the uh, turn order, it's basically like initiative. 
Uh, immediately bats? Wait, oh, not true. Apparently bats are so trash that even with poor auto-resolve... Then again, I do have two warriors, so I... Makes sense. But yeah, wits determines how fast your characters are, and if you have super wits... Uh, you can put down your cards, <clears throat> and you, all your uh, characters will act before the enemy. And we basically get, can just dab on the enemies. It's pretty fun. Although, I feel like having 10 wits on every single character is uh, super wet. No one said that. Uh, 10 wits on... <clears throat> uh, every character is the minimum. That's what I always try to get. Uh, 10 wits. You know what? I like to lose. Ha! Huh. But I can't because we are warriors. Oh, but it ate my movement speed. That's not actually good because we only have 14 turns to run around. And we're gonna not survive the winter without food. Destiny wits and intelligence are best, you think? Because destiny gives you luck for more XP and luck for grow up chances. Destiny is amazing if you are a one slinger. Otherwise, it's kind of fucking pooters. <laughs> That's my opinion. Alright, I'm not gonna give showing off to this idiot, but retaliation is pretty okay. Uh, this guy already has headbutt, so let's get stronger with that. Buffy Dragonfire is the warrior, so they are not going to get out maneuver, so... These are both kind of equally shite. Oh well. Virtuos is going to get Hunter's Mark, because at least that's perception. Blah, 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 blah. Going, going harder. Fuck. This guy just fucking cursed us. It's only spiritual curse. We don't care about spiritual. We already can't stand up in a fight if it's spiritual. So getting cursed on it, it's, it's perfectly fine. It's fine by me, buddy. Bloodbone. Okay. I have two advancement points. Maybe I should think about Bloodbone. <laughs> Let's get Bloodborne. Hey, scavengers. I need to know what this is, but we don't have enough wood. I need to scavenge. I need to do ruins. I must. Oh shit, the ground beneath your feet collapses. Climb out. We are strong. That's why I feel like choosing just overwhelmingly one color in the beginning is okay. If I can avoid any other the challenges. Like, if I can avoid spiritual and mental challenges, I will, I should be fine. Oh my god, Slavians! Uh, scout the area first, it's undead. Uh, we can use the element of surprise! Yeah, Amazing. I didn't want to sneak past, because sneaking past talk, uh, gives everybody fucking the COVID. You don't want that. I don't want to get too close to either of these, because once they start spawning... They would just run at me and be like, hey, who are you? But apparently they are inhabiting the peninsula, so I, I won't be able to just sit my ass down here. That sucks. I mean, there's no food anyways, so... Oh, th there's the small Slavians. That's nice. Alright, strength, strength, strength. Yes, and more wits. They're still not getting perception. That sucks. But at least they're going to be fast. If they can grow up. Or enforce them? No. I will die. I don't want to die, man. Also, first thing first. Lumber mill. What do I need for lumber mill? So I need 27 iron. That's the least amount of stuff. And 18 meat. Because lumber mill is going to be crucial. Because then, if I make a, a village, and I can immediately put down a lumber mill on it, it can just make wood for itself. So I don't need to supply it as much with wood. Honestly, if I can survive the first winter, the rest should be... ...pretty good. And also Herbalist Hut and Witch Hut would be dope. We need... ...bones and wood, leather... I'm not gonna spend this just yet. 
Scout the area. Element of surprise. This gives us the bones. Oh my god! A sword! <gasps> yeah! I kind of want to keep that first strike. I feel like that's kind of needed. How heavy is this? Oh, you can actually have this sword. Same damage and it gives you some protection. Yeah, point three, baby. Let's go break this shit. We don't need to carry it. And it gives us Ember and Sandstone, which we might be able to use. But we're not going to put ourselves down here. I could. I could, myself, could put the village here. That would give me bone, iron and fish. And although I would need to have, uh, what's we call it, enough wood to not lose the village. So first things first, I need some more stone or a lot more wood. It doesn't really matter. Everything is the same. But after that, I would have to get how much... How much wood for the lumber mill? Oh, it's not even wood. I would need food and... Uh, fuck. Yeah, we're not wood. So serious. This wouldn't be bad. For a bare minimum. There's no seaweed, sadly. But this would be not bad for a bare minimum settlement. And it would be close to Slavians. So if you get buddy-buddy with them, they would be close. Same with the scavengers. Honestly, this actually might not be bad. However, I need to gather up. I need to gather up iron. But in... Oh my god, we're running out of food. <laughs> and I can't... Actually, I can reach the fish. But I will run out of fuel. Shit, and it's night time. Try to ha climb. Fuck. Great. Great! That goes 80% decrease for everything for three turns. But we did get wood. Wait a minute. Holy shit! It might work out. Yeah. The only thing that doesn't work out is we don't have gathering, because I didn't take gathering supplies, because I'm stupid. I should have taken gathering supplies instead of the children. Seems terrible for me, no useful resources, no food. There is food! Fish! There is literally food for survival. That's all we need right now. I did say it's a bare minimum. This could be survivable. One type of food so people don't starve. And if we make a lumber mill, it will give us enough uh, fuel, after the winter of course, to be able to stock up on fuel and be able to survive the next winter. Because it gives one or two wood, right? Even the lowest uh, lumber mill. So if you get good RNG throughout the other three seasons, winter will be okay uh, with regards of fu uh, fuel. Sure, it's bone and iron, but this is close by, the terrain artifact, that will turn into something. Although it will probably turn into scared leather, but it has a chance to turn into dragon bone or mythical leather or ancient wood, you know, it has a chance to be good. So this is not the worst thing. But I still have to restart, I think. Because we have absolutely no gathering. We will run out of food before we can gather more food, is what I'm saying. Actually, we're not. Five turns to get ten. But ten is only, what, two and a half turns worth of food? I Yeah, I lost. I lost. I should have taken fucking gathering supplies. Man, I fucked up. One food source is garbage, yes. But I'm not talking about ten fucking different food sources and highest morale. I'm talking about survival right now. Don't understand. Ooh, gathering for the child. That's good. But we need to leave. We need food. And we have a lot of wood though. Search the place. Defend yourself! Give us food. That's not food, that's useless. <laughs> Shit. You're gonna starve to death. I should have only started with the two warriors. I might have to uh, restart. Element of surprise. An axe. And other bullshit. Master crafted dazzling scroll. Wow. It uses wisdom. Hmm. We got crafting. We can keep that on ourselves, I guess. Oh, that is amazing damage. Child, do you want this axe? 
Yes! Although it's only 10 damage on you because you're fucking trash. Uh, that's only 5 extra damage for her. 10 extra damage for this one, but this one already deals 18, basically. If they only need to attack once, and only 10 subsequently. Sub, 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 sub. I'll keep it for the child. <gasps> oh! Fish! Nah, I don't have enough turns to get back to uh, anywhere else, and fish is the only good resource during winter together. And, and we're fucked. Unless... Unless we can quickly... Quickly craft up... A gatherer's aid. What? Fuck yourself, game. Then don't tell me I can make it if I can't make it. Oh shit, but that uses all our... Actually... Ooh, ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Hmm. Only I had one more leather. I could put the leather here, and then I would only need to use 11 wood. But... Tough times call for... Tough people. You know what I mean? <gasps> the child with the gathering is actually super good! Four turns. Every two turns we get 10 food. That can be sustainable. Although, once we run out of wood... This will be halved, which will still be four turns. It's fine. Ish. Although I shouldn't burn away my wood for this. Because right now we only have 22 times. If I take this off, we have nine times. This is not going to eat all of it. Hold on. It will eat 16. Eight turns! I don't think I want to sit here for eight turns, though. So I can also mean don't build a village at all. That's true. I mean, last run was nomadic run, and it was honestly very overpowered. Like, we were just rolling in a big ball of murder, and we just killed everything and collected super fast. That's true. I mean, I, I don't really want to put a village there. I want to see the rest of the starter biome, but... I'm gonna die, so... Oh, and... <laughs> It might not even matter, because we are going to fucking die from fucking low sanity. Great. Bruh. Three turns. I don't want to put that one in there. Four turns. Actually, we need the food. Four turns, that's fine. Hell yeah. Legion you know, other biome is hard to set up. It's just as easy to set up, it's just harder to defend. I mean it costs the same amount of stuff. But yeah. Staying alive in there is more difficult. Ah. This winter start is rough. Look at that. Food. Could be seaweed up north anyway. We go back to lurking, don't want to influence too much. I mean, it's fine, I don't mind it. I'm not easily influenced, so you can tell me backstreet strats and I will just say no if I don't want to do them. But, anyways, if you want to lurk, have fun. Thanks for dropping by. Wait a minute. Illness reduced your gathering, that's why better now? <gasps> You're so fucking right. I forgot about the illness. Plus, the child also got the gatherer. Oh my god. We might be on top of this. One more turn. To get the, uh, the things. And we do have enough. Actually, I might not even need to make the gatherer's resource then. We still have low faith. What the fuck? This child wants to die? Why do they want to die? Both of the kids want to die. How long is this fucking wind gonna last? And we don't have enough fucking... Uh, fuck! I'm just gonna keep swearing until the wind stops. I could use up five fish. Uh. There goes one turn worth of food. Fucking hell! <laughs> Why? Kill it! Kill it! No! <laughs>
<laughs> it's okay. We're fine. We're fine. We can do this. We can we can do this. Swarm of beasts, we don't care about them. We can actually just eat them. They give us food. Difficulties in other biomes is the same, or are they... Is there an order? Uh, starter biome, so this Slavian biome, this grey, is the easiest, obviously. And then the goblins are probably the next logical uh, follow-up. And after that, the ice biome. And then you go either orcs or elves. And the, uh, the dwarves are probably the hardest. Uh, purely because the the ruins and events like they, there's dragons on the dwarf lands, you know, that kind of shit. But I mean, each biome has its uh, dominant uh, challenge type. Like for example, on the uh, the mushroom biome, it's mostly spiritual. On the orc biome, it's mostly physical based challenges. Elves have a lot of uh, wits challenge types that appear. <clears throat> and the, the ice biome is also spiritual, mostly. Um, and the dwarves, I think it's physical and wits. But yeah, um, I feel like the the uh, if there was an order, I mean, to each their own. It depends of your uh, what your character uh, group composition is, and what you're going for, and what your upgrades are. You know, it, a lot of factors, a lot of things factor in, but I feel like it would be starter biome, goblins, ice people, either orcs or elves, depending whether you have more strength or more uh, intelligence. And then the uh, the dwarves, because, I mean, fuck the dwarves, they suck. <laughs> They're trash. Okay, the wind stopped, but we are still... Uh, should we get... We are not going to do this, because the wind stopped. I don't want to waste my fucking herbs on that. I'm gonna gather... We're gonna wait for these. And that should be enough food. We're running out of food. Kill these bees. The bees give us... Oh! They healed up uh, Virtuos and gave a buff to Fluffy. Nice. <clears throat> You're dying. Severely. Thanks, yeah, no problem, man. Also, I feel like uh, strength is the easiest to uh, accumulate. So if, if it's your first run or you're really struggling, just go for strength. Just physical based stuff. Because you can just craft just swords and stuff and then you'll be fine, right? And the uh, the normal tier armor is also... it's giving the, It gives the most uh, shielding for physical. Oh, that's not a good example because it's a it's a good armor. I just realized we started with this amazing armor like this. Holy shit, you don't even need the shield. But I mean, the child is not going to be able to... Actually, the child can wear it. But they don't need to wear it. But yeah, um, normal quality armor gives a lot of physical shielding. Like medium and heavy, especially. So I feel like the easiest is to go for full physical with everybody. Of course, keeping some gatherers around is also nice. So you might be able to go from starter biome immediately to the orcs, because you're strong enough, and then to the dwarves, you know? But, you know. It's mostly just play uh, however you feel like it, and however the RNG lets you play. And if you fail, well, you will still get some gut points to be able to unlock some decent cards for next run. Plus, over time, you will learn what events do what, how to deal with certain situations, what items are rubbish, what items are good, you know. It all just takes time. Alright, we're gonna wait for this one more turn. That will give us a bunch of food. We're gonna go up to nine? Nine turns? Eleven turns! Almost enough to survive winter. I feel like I could just sit here. Then again, we're gonna run out of 
thingies. We're gonna look around. We need to look around. We can't just sit. We're gonna go for this ruin. This wasn't even here before. Oh my god, they're spawning like crazy. The other thing is, I can't just sit around on my laurels. Because the, the entire world is just spawning crazy, right? Super fast. They're spawning things. Investigate. Nature. Is something unnatural. Investigate. Black cats and mice are often signs of witchery. Best approach with caution. Nature. Uh, it says, okay, I don't think I've ever had this. Scar the ruins of an ancient human cemetery. Oh yeah, actually I do. Is this the guy? Could it be grave robbers? Is this the guy who's bound to the uh, site? We don't actually have uh, anyone with good purple. Uh, actually, we don't have any purple, so... I feel like if I attack, we're either going to get cursed again, or just trashed immediately. Or any power of harmony, twisted and unnatural. Something is very wrong here. The laws of harmony in nature are being broken. The figure sees you and speaks. Oh, there's a figure. A figure sitting on a gravestone. Shape of a black cat to a mouse. To a ghostly visage of a woman. Oh, they are just suffering. You, you're living good, or no? No, bad. They will feed on you. No, we're gonna just fucking leave. Thank you. We still get experience for it. But you don't get loot. Rabbit tracks. Try to rabbit tracks. Oh, that's good enough. Take the meat. The game is giving, destroying me some, some goods. Mm -hmm. Uh, intelligence? I mean, yeah. I don't want to give them luck for no reason. Retaliation will bobber mix as well. Definitely. A closer look. I'm just gonna grab the stash, thank you. Ooh! <laughs> I would lose the shielding. Wait a minute. Oh, only the Chosen gained the physical and mental shielding. Not every starting character. So apparently that's worse than I thought it was. I thought it was pretty good, like everybody on the starting team gets it, but apparently just the Chosen gets the natural armor. That's ass. Then again, they are pretty much solid for physical. So I could give them this. So they could just unleash themselves. Yeah, they still have like, what? 70, 76? And I could... Buff this one up. Get some shielding. 9.5 instead of 7.8. That's probably 8. It hopefully rounds up. The child will get this. Damage, oh, it's too heavy. It's okay. I also want to put on some music. I forgot to look for any kind of music for this, so we're just gonna listen to Cult of the Lamb. <laughs> Cause fuck it. It's gonna tick away in the background. It's fine. Bruh. Although there's the game music as well, but... Just try to close that out of my mind. I could also break some of these. There, that has iron and leather in it. I could repurpose that. Sandstone can be... Oh, sandstone could be repurposed for... For the actual village. Yeah, we have enough sandstone to make the totem. We're also getting fat. I might just have to put myself down here. I mean... Pfft. What can you do? <laughs> ah! There's another terrain artifact. Honestly, this is looking better and better. So Sure, shit food source, but... But hear me out. If we build a dwelling, that will slowly give us more morale for the uh, settlement. So the settlement will be fine even with one or two food source or food types. And we can do one type of food from fish, you know, fish on fish. If we go into the meaty meals, which is the most expensive, but we might have to just do that. Also, we have cooked insects because they exist now. Just don't question it. We're gonna eat the bug. <laughs> ah! 
I'm gonna have to go back to here and gather some more fish. We're not gonna approach. This is the uh, yeah. This is the berserker introduction. I am not strong enough to do that. Actually, I may have been, but I don't care. It's fine. More gathering for this child and more hunters mark for this. I will take the craftsman. They will have a high chance of being able to become a hunter, right? But we don't have any craftsperson, so they might have to take up the mantle of crafter. Oh shit, we run into something. Backtrack, please. It's good enough. Yeah, exp five experience on everybody. I hope that goes for everybody and not just, you know, split. Because if it's split, then it sucks. Actually, it looks like it went for everybody. But they already need fucking 20 XP, goddamn. I go far away from the two bonus resources when you can be closer and have it in range. Surely there is food at Northern Sea. There's nothing there. I can see that there's nothing. <laughs> no, don't make more kids! How did you make more kids? What cabbage patch? We don't have a cabbage patch. <laughs> uh, Pola is here. Pola is here to save the day. Pola will research. <laughs> no. Uh, Virtuos is going to craft. Yeah. I'm gonna try and craft something. I also can't make healing kits because I ate all the fucking herbs! <laughs> An extra 18 gathering that actually helps we can make one i can do this and then i will still have 14 and i could make i could make one of these after that first first and foremost we just let's just make this for now 1.7 that's fine two turns look at that amazing that one crafting just makes all the difference. So we shows value for everyone in group? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, five for everybody. It's pretty good. Also, if any cat crying comes through the microphone, it's because a certain someone is in heat. <laughs> right, you have the craft gathering, right? Yes. Oh, fuck. Take that off. We'll be the superior gatherer person. It's fine. It's fine, they are not really fighting, right? I mean, hopefully. Pola is going to take up the mantle. There. Ha! I have an axe! Three damage. Oh wait, elusive bite! I mean, that does two damage. And they have second skin as a support. It's better. It's good stuff. Ooh, look at that. 84. They alone can do it in two turns. Oh my god. Both of the cats are going fucking haywire right now. <laughs> oh no. And it's windy again. Can't help but notice it's windy again. Dude. I will only start making this if, if people start getting on low, low, low faith. Because right now everybody's fine. It just... Oh, it actually, it's Snowstorm. Never mind. Fuck this. We're gonna wait for the Snowstorm to be over, then we're gonna move out. And look at the northern parts, although it's dark, so I won't be able to see anyways. Look at that food! It grows. It's amazing. Actually, it's going down, but then it will grow again. It's the ebb and flow of hard difficulty. <laughs> Back to 10. Wait, we only got 10? Oh, yeah, because... Yeah. Yeah. 
Yummy! Well done! And here! What? Oh! And... Cool, he gave us some nut. Some Nutella. Oh yeah, strained. We need that for encumbrance purposes. At 16 turns worth of food. Four turns left of winter. We, we are going to just tough winter out. Fuck winter. Trash ass winter. Shaken. Direct. Direct. By the time it's daytime, we can get there. Well, I mean, not really, because every single fucking tile is mountain. Everywhere. It's either mountain or scavengers. Trash ass video game. <laughs> no! No! Don't you fucking dare move on us. Don't you dare. Oh my god. You, you there, live one, come here, I need a favor. What do you want? What happens if we save this guy? We will never know. Kill him! Yeah! It's fine. We're fine. We're fine. No food up north? Yeah, I mean... I wouldn't eat seaweed. I mean, are you kidding me? Trash. We're fine. Uh, Bobromix is not going to die. She's fine. Same thing, it gives nothing else and it's heavy. Trash. Also trash. There you go. So what, you want me to make the fucking thing here? Although it's going to give us... Hmm. So we are two away from seaweed. And since I can't... I don't have good resources to get the better... Better range. The best thing I have is elven wood, and it's still just one range, two sides. We need to reach fucking 54 to get an extra gathering range, I think. And for that we need a higher tier stuff. We would need to have, for example, obsidian. Wait a minute! If this turns into a tier 3, because there's a chance, right? There's a low chance that it can turn into a tier 3. We can gather it up. And then we can move this over a little bit. Then again, the scavengers, isn't there proximity? Like, isn't there like an exclusion zone around the settlements? One start aisle, I would go coast in between the resources. Or wait for better resources and larger groups so my village don't die too fast. Yeah, I mean, if I make a village too fast, I won't have anybody to go out and adventure. And that will suck as well, yeah. It's just, we're just scouting for possible sites, you know? Here to his max. You're, you're false, you're wrong. This is tier two. And I've seen Dragonbone and Mythical Leather. The spawn on the uh, starter biome from these terrain artifacts. It is possible. It's just low chance. I mean, in my Zoria run, next to my settlement, there was a... Uh, terrain artifact and it turned into mythical leather so <laughs> there's a chance it's just bad chance it's not a good chance investigate uh, come closer help the little fellow out cannot risk the poison but put the creature out of his misery just leave it I don't care fuck it no it's cursed us you leave the creature to its face, the screeching cries die down until your quiet whimpering remains. Even days later you can hear it from your sleep as it tugs at your soul, leaving a lasting mark that you hope will result in nothing more than some sleep deprivation. Okay, it's just spiritual, it's just mental, it's fine, you don't care about that. As the sun rises high, <laughs> you feel its gentle warmth on your skin. And turmoil. As you brace yourself against the heat, you, yeah, you resist easy. the assault, and your dome. Oh, we resisted, we got some roots and mushrooms, hell yeah. We're fine. 
As I said, we are going to be perfectly fine. Virtuos is also going to get some strength because they need it. And Pola is... Oh, Pola might become another hunter if they can grow up. That is... I, mean... <laughs> I got this. Agree with Lord? Yeah, you see. It's normal tier 3 then? Yeah, that's what tier 3 is. I mean... Dude, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, these things. And then we have tier 5, we have, you know, the very outer edge stuff. Come on, man. I thought you knew what you're doing. <laughs> uh, six more turns for this trash. Wait a minute, we gained some diamond, though. How much diamond? Not enough diamond. Great. Right. Eight diamond. That's not cool. Rally had uh, something worse than three. Worse? Like three what? Uh, food source? Right! Ooh. Actually, maybe being close to the scavengers is not a bad idea. Oh my god, stop making kids. We don't have food, man. Don't have food. Stop sexing. Stop sexing. What the fuck? <laughs> I have a sword. What do you have? Protect a word. No food, sex drive? Yeah, that's why poor people are always so prolific. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Eat the woman. We might have to just send someone away to die, you know? So yeah, what do you mean by rarely had something worse than three? Like three was. <gasps> food! They gave a lot of food. Oh shit, Virtuos is the uh, hunter, so they will need uh, perception. Become a hunter. Yeah! <laughs> Baby, here we go. Oh, we are rolling now. Nice. They're gonna get an axe now. <laughs> oh, it's too heavy. Fuck. I'm gonna keep it though. Wait, since they grew up, they will have... Okay, they didn't really gain a lot of uh, gathering, but it's two more turns, so that's nice. Next turn, the other should grow up. Tier 3 resource, or my tier 2 resource? Ah, I see. A woman for more child, yeah? Oh my god, stop saying it! Look, they're making more people! Now Borzimir is here. <laughs> it's the chicken child. Fuck. There were like seven kids. Kids are going to do the spiritual challenges. Uh, that, that's perfect. One more turn. Come on. We, we, we're running out of wood. We need to go. Oh my god, he turned into clay. <laughs> the worst fucking thing. <laughs> it turned into clay. It's not even a... <laughs> I mean, it's tier 2, it's, I can't argue, we have Bloodbone and Clay close by. We could just make everything out of Clay. However, I can't make a Lumber Mill out of Clay, right? Yeah, I can't make it out of Clay. I would need to gather the uh, Iron. Although, if I have 31 Bones, then I could make it immediately. I have 40 bones. Okay, I can make a bone lumber mill. I don't have the food though. I have 81 fish. I don't think I can use fish. I don't think that meat can be substituted with fish. Because both of these are vegetables and they are still separated, so... It needs to be the exact type. It sucks. Although I see... I saw grain... Down here. And herbs. Actually, I need to come down here. I need wood. I need herbs. And there's some food here. Also, Theodore Quest is here, and we can do that. We're gonna abandon this shit. 
and move down. Yeah, it's fine. Let's repopulate the. Uh, I mean, they are doing. They're going. Yeah, they're going hard. I kind of want to see what this is, but we don't have enough fuel. I mean, running out of fuel only makes it 50% slower for the gathering and crafting and shit, but then we will run out of food, so uh, I can't do that. Hammer and heavy armor for your hunter? You That's come to a place, not gonna happen. The a high the earth. How much? Great. Shmoo. So weird to see you always had tier 3 in your memory at least. You mean tier 2? <laughs> Some people turn 45, it's pretty decent. Yeah, but like, four of them are kids. Like we have three adults. Actually four adults. Only three are kids, never mind. It's actually, yeah, it's pretty decent. But I mean, the lower your population, the faster they will uh, re remake themselves, you know. No, what are those? Rats! And thankfully, you're basically full physical, so... We can just kill these rats without a problem. Blam. Done. Also, I wanna see if the uh, kids that grew up gained any new skills. Okay, so Fluffy Dragonfly gained Showing Off as their growing up skill. And what did uh, Virtuos get? Virtuos gained Good Luck. When they grew up. Completely fucking useless. I mean, it gives a little bit of extra experience, sure, but... Still. Would have liked ghostly axes or something. We're definitely going for the safer areas. I don't need no trouble. I don't need no trouble. And that gave me 14 amber. Hold on. We got 29 amber. We could make... Or gathering kits. I'm gonna reach for the wood first. I'm gonna put them there between the wood and the herbs. I like these rats and bats, they give us meat, that's pretty good, that sustains us a little bit. Then again, having so many people, now we eat a lot more, so you know. So Fluffy needs strength and wits. They're gonna keep going with strength, because for now, not, nothing is really fast. Virtuos is the hunter, first, finally, perception. Treboslava, just plus two for every, for the kids it's plus two, I don't care. Maybe we can get a fucking Zerka or something from Treboslava or something else. I don't even know what they are called. What the fuck? No. You wake to find some of your goods missing. Who the fuck did With your that? skill in tracking. I will murder them. Where are they? Wait, which one are they? Both of these just appeared. What? They stole my food and my fuel! What the f- I hate them. I have to hunt them down. And one is back here. Like, what the fuck? We can't even make it back there. And get out of here. Upsetting. Have a closer look. If it's on all days, you find a spot where a single slab of sentinel lies within some very faint and remove markings on it. Sure, look at it. Uh, you there, live one, come here. What do you want? This was the ghost that we just beat. You know what? We're gonna smash it. Smash the gravestones to pieces. Ghost remains bound to the place. Clearly, brute force is not like this. All right. Not gonna break the curse. The ghost skulks away, cursing at you, and you see a glimmer of malice in its dead eyes. Great. We got granite. That's fine. Granite. Socks. <laughs> oh my god. I don't want everybody with battle orders, so let's sure. Let's go for that. Outmaneuver. Good, good, good. Soon we will be able to do low level yellow challenges, thanks to her. Pola's getting gathering. Treble Slav is getting. All, all, the, all the kids are getting gathering. Hell yeah. That's good. Oh fuck. That's tier 2. Speak to the creature. What now? A healer. Creature huffs and puffs at you, pain borne by anger. Oh, because we don't have a healer. Run away! 
Hey, we ran away so fast, the kids are getting stronger. <gasps> they gave us a shield! Ooh, an iron shield. It's the same, but it's heavier. Oh, this person needs a fucking weapon, actually. Oops. I, I kind of forgot that they grew up and didn't have anything good. Why are the kids so fucking weak? Safer areas. Ooh, a trash crafting tool. We will actually break that because it's heavy. God damn it. We need to find some fuel. Right, if we accept this. I'm definitely not going to initiate the dating game. Because whoever we got we would get would die immediately. That would suck. One wood. Oh fish! Oh, this is looking like a great place. It would give us herbs. It would give one resource, which is wood, which is like, I mean, yeah, I know. I mean, it would give embers. Well, if I put myself here, wood, herb, grain, ember, over time we can get the fish. Because we're, we're out of herbs as well. If we need to quickly restore our faith, we can't, because we don't have enough herbs. This would be crucial to just get, like, passively. Although we can passively gain it with the Witch's Heart, but that's too slow. Hmm. Stop. Hit. As you recover from yet another... Speak to you him. Approach the... Who are you? I'm the Alchemist. Short as possible. I'm well, the way... Oh. Yes, you're grasped with the... <laughs> now I don't know which Lightbringer is what. You track the thieves to this location and find an old abandoned ruin of a house. Going arms at the ready. As you come in closer, you sense the unmistakable presence of a demon here. Demons say that you are here to talk, not play games or fight. Shout at the it! The creature lurks under the remains of the front door. He skulks at you, then repeats in a mocking tone. Give back what is ours, now! Science say that he must be one of those demons. Autistic? <laughs> I mean, what? Or baby on the dating game? No. If I do the dating game, that then my uh, date would die. Because after you get the date, they have to do a challenge. And if we don't get a physical challenge, we're fucked. So, and I can't save scum because no save scum allowed on this, so, you know. Oh crap, you're one of those. Gonna beat it. It was a hassle to capture the haha look, <laughs> but you finally do it, and now he lies at your mercy. It is quiet for once. We got our shit back. Kill him, spare him. The demon lets out a sigh of great relief, but he still looks nervous. You called the law. I am unbound for now. Speak quickly, for it does not last much. Ask after your things. If I did, I cannot say. I do what I don't. I am bound. To serve, so bad light does not catch me. But he's a Hahalek, a house demon. Why would he leave his house and steal from folk? The Hahalek looks saddened. I was twice. The earth shakes, houses die. I bound myself to other services. I cannot say less. Did he mean more? Never mind. Ask if you can take back your things. He doesn't need to be involved, as he's not breaking these laws. And we already took our shit back. 28 goddamn fish. All the bones. We need those bones, man. Oh, mm, we need them. I am no guardian demon. Was bound to take and carry it to the masters, not to guard. Take it. You take stolen goods you find inside the house. There is some extra, clearly taken from others. You see a lot of torn out feathers and fur and specks of blood in the house. And when you look at the Hahalek, you see it does look very patchy. And you have your things back, so you will not kill him, but he had better not steal from you again. Ask the demon why he's bound like this. Does not seem happy or well. I don't give a fuck about it. I thank me. 
I cannot promise. You see, masters, they make the rules, and me, I work. The creature skulks away. Well, beans, we got a shit back. We have some three turns of thingy. We're definitely going to go for Theodore. Because there's some wood there as well. On the way, we can, you know, maybe get these. Because the Theodore quest is just straight up easy. You get stuff. You get stuff. Building seems to have appeared close to your location. Oh, the Smith is Legacy. Yeah, let's activate that, actually. Right, cool. We're not going to attempt to do this either, because we'll get fucked. <clears throat> so, we need yellow for that. We don't have yellow. Well, I mean, it depends what happens. If if we go to the cave... Oh my god, stop! Section! Obramix and Mace are just... They can't be helped. They're fucking. Just keep fucking. Buff is gonna gain more strain. Trouble Slav is gonna gain... Well, perception, I guess. Maybe they can become a bandit. Also, I could choose chance, and it could give me a rat. <laughs> and then we can start the rat quest. It's not th something I care about, though. Right now. I don't have long until the... Things start going. We're going to pay for the uh, curse. Just one curse. Don't need these. Although these are herbs as well, but we only have like one. We're gonna give. We're gonna give up our clay. And the stuff we have only a little off. Because we can't use only a little, right? Sure, it's better quality than bone, but only four is not going to do anything. I want to get rid of the mental curse. Spiritual can wait. Wits? Mm, no, go with strange. Wits could make it a bandit, but right now I, I feel like warrior would be better than a bandit. One turn, one turn. Good. Maybe we can research? We can research rats. Eight turn. What can we craft? Do this 2.2. We can do this 1.8, 1.9. We're gonna do this. Actually, no, because I think the leather is needed for uh, for the lumber mill, right? Lumber mill. Oh no, it's iron. Iron and bones. Okay, so bone is what we need, and actually, yeah, bone is what we are going to do it from. Bone and grain. So we can we can use up the. Uh, the gems and the leather. Can I make two? No. Let's make one. That's still a big help. Oh. Um. Yeah, we can pay off the other curse as well, I think. I'm gonna give... Actually... We need 30 stuff for the totem, right? I'm gonna give... I'm gonna give the sandstone. Because we have enough granite for the totem. If we choose to make the totem. So that's cool. We got enough fuel. Please. Food is getting low again. Oh fuck! We can't resist that! Actually we can somehow. Nice. Look, it gave us some stones. So I'm debating right now. Do I want to run to Theodore's shed? Can't reach the fish from here, sadly. Because if I do this, I might not be able to collect grain fast enough to not run out of food. I might have to sit down at the fish here. 
Level 4 crypt. What the fuck? Okay, that gave us food. A lot of food. And okay, now we are kind of okay, actually. And there is more blood bone here. Uh, maybe we should put a settlement near this uh, place. Maybe if I put it here. Or here. They got the herb. There's one, two. They got grain. We get ember. We get fish. We get blood bone. And over time, we might be able to get the wood, but I'm going to make a lumber mill anyways. Okay, this is better than whatever this was. Unless this turns into something cool. But even then, it's kind of like, whatever. I don't want to kill this unliving crypt. But I do want to equip... Gathering tools. So you have 2.5, you have 5.3, you have 9 with that. 4.8, 1.5, 5.7, 5.7.6. Increase that. So we got two main gatherers now. That's good. Is this the cave? Okay, that's the cave. I can do the cave because it's physical challenge. If they are in the cave, we can do that. And then it will give us some good stuff. Hopefully in armor as well. Because we're still naked, mostly. That sucks. Ah, uh, great! Mass lullaby? Chore. Let's love a string. Ish. Hmm. All these kids need to grow up. Hurry up and grow up. Seven turns. You're not gonna get another level up. Four mysticism is not enough for a witch, I think. I think it needs six for human witch? Five? Should I try and live the dream? I kinda, I kinda want to. <laughs> we'll see. Find a cave, go in. Oh, they are here, nice. Welcome to the large underground chamber that is dark and eerie. Welcome to them saying that it's time to go back to their grandfather. Emperor's always treating us like little babies. Uh, they need to go back now. No, we won't go. You're about to argue when trolls are coming. But we can run, easy. You're sorry, Grandpa's gonna be so mad. Go home. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Super good. I wanna go onto this uh, hill. Okay, so we got seaweed, more wood, bone. I don't know. The fucking terrain is absolutely garbage though. Everything is hillside. Hills, mountains, I hate it. Trebuslava wants to have two flying daggers. That's not bad. That's a pretty decent skill. But we could get an extra 20 gathering. Ah, sure. Oh, there's a Starbuck bug. And also scaled leather. I love scaled leather. That is such a good thing. It's a very good tier 2. Because we could get make good gathering tools, but there's no food nearby. I mean, we can eat the bug. We have a lot of uh, advancement points, so we can research the bog food as well. I hope I can climb this before it gets night time. I can see. Or blood bones. Okay, so the nature of this game is just blood bones everywhere. It sets the tone. I hate blood bones. They suck. 2.8. I mean, lighter than this thing, but also not as good. Better than this, definitely. Hmm. I don't want to go into the lake, because we don't have enough yellow. Let's just skip a turn. We're running out of food. I have to go back to the fish. Which sucks. Turns, three turns. 
bring him... Oh, yes! Armor! It's trash, but it's armor, so... You're level 9. Gotta take the armor. 13 strength. This guy has 16 strength, though. They should have the axe. So they can deal absolute damage. But that means they're going to take the armor as well. It's 39 damage, because the Chosen was only dealing, what? 27. That's an extra 12 damage. That's good. Chosen can go back to... Sandstone Hatchet. The Heavy Shield. Sanity Regeneration. Oh, that's pretty good. Give it to you, because somehow your sanity is lowered. Oh, everybody's sanity is lowered. Why? Oh, it loses sanity and faith. Oh, and we only have like one type of food, two types. Oh, that's... That's rough. <laughs> We're in a rough patch. This one is silver and iron. This one, 126, 123. This can always be broken if we don't want them. But I'll put it on people that can carry them because why not? Actually, take that off. Can you have a shield? Yes, that's better for you. I'm gonna give this to the chosen so their sanity is regenerating faster. Because if they die, I have to sacrifice two of my people. Or the seed. I don't want to. The weeder, so. Fuck! Problem has occurred. The game may be unstable and or crash. Any saves created up to this point may be corrupted. So this happened in the previous run as well, and nothing barked, so I'm just gonna ignore it. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh! Passive shielding. Or retaliation. Go with passive shielding first. Because early on that's decent. It falls off pretty quickly, but... Uh, yeah. Or gathering. <gasps> Definitely. Too bad you don't have enough perc uh, perception for this. Child, how long do you have? 14 turns. Wow. Still. That's a very good skill. Bets are tailing us. It's fine. That's free food, so we're gonna take them. And I'm actually going to put them here, between the grain and the... What's call it? Oh, that's not a lot. Actually, no. Let's just do this, because we can quickly get the fish. 166, yeah. So every turn we get 10 fish. That's not enough, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's plus 2 fish per turn. We can gather some amber and craft. Hold on. Level 2 robes can be crafted out of amber. Just pure amber. I will do that. And level 2 jewelry can be made out of pure amber as well. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Here we go. Gonna make ember stuff. Cause everybody can wear the fucking things. We don't have enough yet. Oh, but that's going to be a game changer. We need the food, because it's barely sustaining us here, so... And we don't have a lot of wood either, so we have to jump between these two areas. Wait, so who are you? Six trained. Oh, this was the uh, mysticism. I could get a gatherer. Like a dedicated gatherer. 
I think I'm going to do that. They have six strength, which will be good that because they will be able to, you know, wield stuff and carry stuff. Equip armor, shield, and gathering tools. But this will speed up our gathering a lot. I will do a gatherer. Pola is a gatherer now. Because Pola's gathering now is 10 by default. Because they had the normal one and they also gained Master Gatherer with the uh, class change. That's super cool, so... They got 1.7. 1.9. So the 1.9 is going to be put on Pola. Okay. 7, 6, 5... This back. She changes things. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. We can make this faster. Now that comes every turn. And we can have better. Uh, yeah. We might even be able to just do a little bit of research. Six turns? I'm not. I don't want to sit here for six turns. That would put me down to 10 wood. Although... This is the rat research. I don't care about that. Although the train only gives a good amount of stuff, but no and no benefits. The rat could help. If we find ourselves again uh, facing off against, like, what, 20 rats, then, you know, this could... You know? Ooh. So this is the healing kit. It's pretty basic, but I mean, it is something, you know, it, it helps. But I don't want to use up the bones. The bones are for the lumber mill. Yes. And the granite. Oh, we need 32. Oh, I'm glad we. Oh, shit. Oh, 30 is for the wood. Yeah, okay. So we can actually make a granite idol. Wouldn't be bad. Shit. Let's just keep them here. So we get five per turn. So two more turn and then they can make one ember roll. That's too slow. I don't think I want to sit there for that long. I might make more gathering tools instead. Oh shit. Goblin Cemetery, investigate the grave. Burial ground is eerie and still realize there are no animals and even the wind is still here. One of the graves looks particularly odd. The air is stale and cold and you realize that everything around you slowly drains of color, turning gray. Oh shit! It's Duviri Paradox. Its leaf flickers of ghostly figure, its arms outstretched, its mouth open in a silent scream. I feel like if I attack it, it's gonna curse me. It's gonna fucking run. Because <laughs> I can easily defeat it, but if it curses us with like, I don't know, physical curse, we're fucked, so, yeah. Scavengers are going to attack. That's okay. They are a very cheap source of basic resources. Oh, cool! That's good. We're definitely going to burn that. Um, we're going to break this for the Amber. I can always get more loyalty with the scavengers. It's fine if they go into the negatives. It's fine. And they will never be too strong. That's another crucial thing. They will never be too strong, right? That will put us to 11. Oh, Min-maxing everything is kind of shit. I could do this. Actually, I could do this. Actually, no, I can't do that. 11 is not 14. What am I doing? I could do this. 1.7. Yeah. Actually, I'll be next turn anyways. Oh, yeah. Okay, now fuel is perfectly fine. We don't need to worry about that. It's food now, again. Because food is staying on 10, right? Because we are very slowly gaining 2 extra, because we eat 8 and gain 10. Ugh. Alright, you are going to get this armor. 
Because now everybody... Actually, the hunter should get the armor. Only level 4 crypts, perfect for child training. Oh, we're not going to touch that, no. I'm not... <laughs> I might be able to defeat it with physical. I feel like we're strong enough, but... If I, def if I clear this up, a stronger stuff will spawn somewhere else. If I keep this here, it will not get stronger, you know? So, I'm not going to dismantle the starter biome... Uh, crypts and uh, things. Yeah. I think in the first game, if you leave a crypt or a or a nest or something, it gets stronger over time. But in Thea 2, if it's a 4, it's going to stay a 4 even like 500 turns later. It will be able to produce stronger units than 4. Like, it it will be able to push, push out like 7s, maybe 8. But I feel like, I, th I think, not nothing stronger than that, you know? I think. But if I destroy it, then the game is going to be like, oh, there's an extra space for another base. And since 70 turns have passed, it's going to summon something stronger. Same for the Lightbringers. Um, so if you destroy Lightbringer villages, they are gone for good. But if you destroy nests that are the same as this, like they have the same little outline, they can come back. So it depends. Because if you destroy a faction Lightbringer uh, node that looks like this, it has the, uh, the Lightbringers in this per silver color, they will not come back. But if you destroy one that's uh, just a nest, that can come back. Rush to destroy them, but some of them can be super strong. Not the faction, just a node, a monster node. Yeah, that can come back. Those can just spawn again. All right, so we're making, we're making that, yeah, and then we're going to move on. I want to go back to the double fish so I can get some food. In ten turns, I should be able to reach it. Gosh. All right, I made the thing. One point seven. That's not a lot. But we can give it to someone who's high. And it's gonna be the chicken child. Chicken child is high. Ooh, 8.5. Cool. What are we doing with herbs? 23, that's not enough. Oh fuck, I can't. Of course! It's on our hill. Ooh, welcome them. I really hope they are not going to poison us. Yes! Yes! Destiny! For the perception person. That's okay. Fucking mountains, I hate them. Arf. Yeah. So the monster nests can be can come back. Although if you destroy them, maybe the game will spawn some different type of monster nest. It it won't necessarily be the lightbringers. It might be a bear cave or something. You know. It's randomized. Oh yeah, power. Ooh, speed for my main, that's good. Strength for the other one, that's good. And Paula wants more mysticism. Well, I'm sorry, Paula, you turned into a gatherer, so you're not going any... You're not getting any more purple, I'm sorry. It's a sad thing, but it, it is what it is. Okay, no. Grain first. Oh, shit. Grain takes a lot. Then gather some herbs. Although it gives 20. So if you can, yeah, it's basically the same as the fish. Little longer. Also, it's... Wait, in the summer we can get it, right? Oh, yeah, summer and autumn. So next turn it's it will actually be easier to gather, so that's nice. Get your ass kicked by a level 8 monster Lightbringer. Yeah, the Lightbringer nodes are usually pretty uh, difficult. So... Be prepared. I still want the first strike. I feel like spears are going to be a decent thing in this. Having a lot of first strike. Like one-handed spears. 
because then we can have shields with them. And as we concluded in the previous run, when I tested, when I compared the two-handed and the one-handed, they're somewhat similar. Somewhat. The two-handed is not that much more uh, strong, uh, damaging. So the one-handed wouldn't be bad. And of course, bows or javelins for, for the perception people. Probably bows. They're faster. But I want to keep these advancement points for now. Nice tips. Oh yeah, if I can, I'll try to give tips. Oh, sunny day. Oh my god, that's perfect. Wow, look at us. We're zooming. That's perfect. Too bad we're not going to sit here for too long. Perception for you. Although the plus two wits would be awesome. Actually, let's go with the plus two wits. Fuck it. 8.5 wits is basically good enough for now. Oh, Slavians want to have a fight. I don't think I have good enough yellow to tell them no. This person is going to... Actually, 7.2. Where's the doll? Doll is the 1.2. Take it off. 1.1 so this would be six damage that would be 7.2 so that's better they might be able to convince the slavians that we are friendly they will give us a very small amount of food not nearly enough for a turn alternatively i could beat them up but i don't really want to beat up the slavians they are stronger than scavengers they are still not too strong Honestly, I, I could make a, a, a village here and farm both of these groups. Have negative loyalty, that's fine, but I could farm the troops they spawn. Because they will never be too strong. Mmm, I could be an asshole. <laughs> right, we have enough herbs, I feel. But I just want one more turn. I want to farm until the sunny day is over. Because that's too, too good to just give up. Oh, Treboslava. So Treboslava is either Perception or Strange. We don't get the chance. Stra uh, Warrior has a higher chance. Perception, uh, the Hunter, I don't know how much chance that has, but I kind of want another Hunter, so... They are, oh yeah, baby! Another Hunter. Nice, 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 I am too excited. I could use up my bones for a bone javelin. Or use up some wood. And leather for a bow. Because now they need a perception weapon. They have a sword. They will get this because it's still a lot, of, lot stronger. And they don't really have a lot of protection because they are naked so the sword doesn't really work for them but yeah sunny day is still going so we are still sitting um please help me okay i really hope i can do this it will do a bear and a snake uh, get some ropes. Why are you down there alone? Get some ropes. Pull him out. Nothing happens. Call out to the man. Pull him out. White. It's a bear. Uh, we're gonna resolve it manually. A bear! We're gonna fight a bear! A bear fighter. You son of a bitch! So she will kill the. Like, immediately. We won. We already won. 39 damage. 20 health. She's going to come before the bear. We won. We don't... We just, we just skip the resolution. Done. Oh, wait. I fucked up. They can summon more bears. No! No! <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> no! I'm so stupid. <laughs> 
I may have lost someone. <clears throat> that, that's okay. We're fine. Wait! Oh no, I'm not stupid. They were duplicate bears. That was just one bear. I'm not stupid. I, I panicked. I, I dead ass panicked. Holy shit. <laughs> I love this game. Didn't pass my armor? Yeah, but I... So when I saw the second bear and realized that I couldn't put more cards out, for some reason I thought it was another bear and not a duplicate. <laughs> I thought there were multiple bears, but it was the same bear, so it was fine. Yeah, yeah. Because we attacked first, so we killed it in the first uh, uh, move, but for some reason I thought there were multiple bears, like separate bear cards, and I, I, I panicked. <laughs> ah, it's fine, I know what I'm doing. Sometimes I just forget that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, another child grows up at level 5. Sadly, they didn't reach level 6. That would have been nice. So they are... They have Wisdom and Strength. I'm going to try for a Zerka. Because that will be crucial for Yellows. Let's go! Yes! Old man! Jesus! <laughs> Old man Jesus is here. <laughs> uh, how difficult in my ass. This is ease. <laughs> yeah! Torch. Torch man. Alright, Boris. You can get a sword now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him! Ooh, what did they get? Oh fuck, they got the worst one. I was hoping for a reliable argument or something. Bruh. So the skill is... Yes, they, did, they still don't have a skill for yellow encounters, but... They do some damage for a yellow. 14 damage? Yeah! yeah. And they have decent gathering as well. That's good, 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 good. And are they a magic user? They are not. But they are one of the wise ones. So if we have something like, oh, this guy needs healing, or this thing needs folklore, or kind of knowledge, he's our man. Boris... Bor Borzimir? I kind of want to rename him to something. Pola, yes. Get stronger. Uh, intelligence, yeah, we're going to go for intelligence. Sure, maybe we can turn this one into a healer. It would be super good. What should I rename him? <laughs> Is the Twisted Fire Starter. And it's still sunny day, so we're just gonna sit on herbs and uh, grain. Which means I could have... I could have researched. I could have researched. Let's see if we can research. Or turns. Watch it disappear immediately. Oh, it's still around. Uh, you need strength and not perception. Do you have any perception skills? No. Oh, that's right. What is that? Oh, that's the people! Oh shit, Roslava grows up. Intelligence. Healer. Please. Oh my god, this game loves me! And I love it back! <laughs> the child is youth no more! Today they joined the proud calling of the Not Dying Club. Yeah. They just turn into MVP. They need to survive, so they're going to get a sword. What is this sword made out of? Steel and quartz. We don't need to break that. Oh yeah, completely safe pill and master healer. Here we go. Yes. 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 Which means... I definitely need to go into artifacts. But I want more research. I want to keep two around. Okay, so the sunny day is gone. But we're uh, we still three turns away. Let's fuck it. Let's talk to these guys. Talk to the traders anyway. See what the man has to say for himself. 
Ah, Traveler is well met. Approach, recognize. Yeah, one of them is the guy we pulled out. Your trinkets you wish, say nothing of the adventure with the hole. Fuck you. Tell them the story of the hole. Do it in a diplomatic way. This might be a bad idea. Oh, it's actually not a bad idea because we have two good yellows now. Yeah, he's fine. He's Oh my god, he has 58 sanity and 40 faith? We definitely have buffs on. Wait, we don't have buffs on. Why is he so high? He's level 1. This man is just... Oh my god, he has 9 destiny somehow. What the fuck is he on? He needs a drink, but... I mean... He's a beast. I could name him Mr. Beast. See the men protest. Liars and braggarts. How dare they shame me. But the leader looks unimpressed. It sounds like truth. You were gone for days. You returned disheveled and weathered. And your story was full of shit. I will pay for my son's life. He will pay for his dishonesty later. Accept the turn. Oh, 10 fur leather. Nice. The son is taken away by guards, his shoulders slumped in shame. The father calls for a chest of goods to be handed to you. I thank you for your deed. My son is troublesome, and he has a tendency towards ill fortune. This is why I bought the moon ring for him, thinking he can escape all trouble. Alas, even with that, he can fail. Sounds like you need to kill him and try again, hmm? It's never too late to make more kids. I mean, that's not true, because if... Someone turns impotent or or barren. They you know, they, they can't make more kids, but you know it's fine. <laughs> uh, can we still trade? Thank you. Good trading. Yeah, we gained the free. Uh, I mean, it wasn't free. We actually did the thing. And we got more Slavian reputation. That's good. That's good. Let's destroy this thing. Whatever it is. Have a closer look. Gravestones tell the old days. Find sort of a single slave sense on lies. Placement is weird. There are marking with some sort of a warding symbol. Is this the silver chain? Whoever was buried here was undesirable but also feared. Oh no, it's a, it's the dude again. Uh, I'm just gonna... Wait, did he curse us? I think he didn't curse us last time, right? He just smashed a gravestone for more granite. Yeah, oh, we just lose some some faith, that's fine. It's summer, so it's it's fine. It's gonna re replenish. And that means we have a shit ton of granite. We can actually just... I really want to make a village, man. I really want to make a village! Alright, let's go for the Theodore quest. We have enough food and other stuff. Run to the spider. Are you okay? Offer to take a look at the spider and see if you can cure her. Now we do we do the physical. We can do the physical. It's easy. Yeah! Thank you. We get a spinning spider. Cool. Spinning spider is kind of trash, but what the fuck is this? Swamp golems. Already. I mean, it's already turn 81. Oh my god, it's turn 81 and I haven't done shit. <laughs> Yay, I love it. You need perception, you need wisdom, and you need intelligence. Perfect. I mean, not perfect. I could give them strain so they don't... Although they already have a fish. Now, we, we have garbage items for them and they don't have good skills, so I'm just gonna go for that. Their strongest colors. We'll try this one. Oh, actually, they are shit at physical. That's fine. They are they are children, right? Okay, so they're still the kids. But that's fine. You can easily. <gasps> oh my god! I need to farm these. Where did they come from? Wood, and not just any wood. Decent wood. Okay. Let's keep moving to Theodore. Uh, oh yeah. Oh shit, snakes! Snakes are good because they give us uh, scaled leather. So farming dues is also a nice thing. 
Maybe I should make a village next to a snake pit or something. Pull of unstrained, I refuse. Triple slower once more. Alt maneuver, that's good. And fire starter once. Protective word, sure. That's fine. Despite the first appearance, it seems to be an old dwarven burial ground. Unusual find. Spot a rugged group of grave robbers who got here before you. Kill them. Kill them all. That's good. Can keep that. And we get a boar. We can break that boar for food. Bow to the spirits. Oh, wisdom. Wait a minute. Destroy your grave robbers and put the graves back as they should be. Fear the spirits of metal and stone favor you. Oh, that's nice. Rock and stone, lads. Do we have a child? No. no. There's your bow. Nice. You have 10 perception, you have 12 perception. What is this? 1.2. 1.4. Okay. So put the strongest on the stronger one. We have a wand, but that's destiny. This guy has good destiny. It's nothing compared to the other one, though. But he could stand in physical challenges as well. Yeah. Or physical fights. Another boar. Oh my god, look at that fuel. That's perfect. Get a boar. 1.1. Oh, that's better. Actually, I should give this to what's his face. Yeah, oh my god. Boar on child? We don't have a child. But yeah, that would be the uh, the basic thing, because then the movement speed is up. So he would lose purple fights. Because he wouldn't be able to use this in purple. But it's a lot stronger for yellows. I mean, not a lot. It's only 22.9. Instead of 21. But it's true, true damage. It's fine. True damage is nice. I like true damage. 1.1, 1.1. It's a little heavier than this. 36, 42. It's pretty bad. Oh boy, here we go. Teodore. Yeah. So yeah, basically the, the best thing for boars is just to put them on a child or, or a dwarf or anyone slow. But all of their all of the kids grew up. And you see, they're not sexing anymore, so, you know. Fuck! You don't need that anymore. You don't You don't have perception, but this in a spider, oh my god, I hate it. Then again, I want this, I want these to level up. So if I give them another skill, then they will be, they will have one, two, three, four, five to choose from. If I keep them with this, it will be just four, so I have a lot higher chance of getting these. I'm just gonna keep strengthening their ghostly axe, even though it's trash, because they don't have perception. Oh well. You find inside, the place is surprisingly lived in and well taken care of. There is even a fireplace. You hear an old woman's voice croak at you. Well, 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 dinner guests. How splendid. Do come and stay forever. <laughs> Try to leave. There is no way out. The doors are gone. You will have to face this hag to escape. I can use my mind to get out of this pickle. I'm just gonna do that. Ah, mind. The witch laughs. <laughs> you are smart. I won't eat you. In fact, here is a small gift ah. before I go, Chosen. A package is left for you, and the hut changes back into an old, decrepit building. Theodore appears. Well done. Well done indeed. Thank you. All right, so he's gone. So the next thing we need to do is the... Uh... Wait a minute. One of these is the dollar, right? 
Oh no, it can't be the Dola because we killed the little shack. We killed it because I was upset that it ate most of our food. Fuck, because that would have been a very easy quest. Shit, I fucked up. Oh well. What can you- No! I don't want to destroy this. Push your way through. Yeah, Bobro makes it stronger now. I don't want to destroy this nest, because then a stronger will spawn. We will just leave that nest over there. It's fine. It's a nice snake nest. It can supply us with scaled leather. <laughs> it's nice. Snakes can only scale so high. We're fine. I can't- I literally can't see shit. Great. We have minus one visibility. <laughs> so grain is needed for the uh, thingy, right? How is our food? Oh, we have five types. Look at that. I don't want to burn the elven wood, but the rest are fair game. Come across a, an unusual group of travelers, a huge spider queen. Oh, it's the, the bone, the bone, the blood bone traders. Great. I'm passing by. Do you need my assistance? Well, you're not one of us, so I don't know. Try to convince them that I'm one of them. It works. Good. Well, I suppose we can share. So we have a dilemma. You need to kill some humans. Are you guys stingers? Yeah. All right. Ooh, Bloodbone. I'll do my best. Wait a minute, Bloodbone. I only need 31. I can make the lumber mill out of Bloodbone. Hmm. So I can have a granite totem and a Bloodbone lumber mill that's immediately good enough to supply us with enough wood. I just need a place. I really like this. I just put the things here. Get herbs. Two types of food. Which can be made into like one, two, three, four, five. Five or six types, because full grain for bread, full fish for whatever. The raw resources, that's four. We can make pierogies, that's five. I don't know if it works backwards. It might be fish salad backwards for the sixth one. But still, at least five different types of food. And we would have Bloodbone, which is not the best, but not the worst. It would be enough for... What can we make out of Bloodbone and Amber? Let's see. Medium armor. We can use Bloodbone and wood. Eh. Heavy armor. Bloodbone and Amber... Eh. Blood one and ember here as well. What about jewelry? 16. I mean, the gems are the best here, but Bloodbone is higher tier, so it would be Bloodbone, Amber, jewelry. What about crafting items? Actually, what about uh, artifacts? Ah, oh, I would need something. Metal, leather, or stone. For the two-handed, I could use Amber and Bloodbone. It's not a... Not out of the question. Shields could be made out of Bloodbone. Full Bloodbone shields. We could just have a bunch, bunch of Bloodbone. What about pole arms? Bloodbone Amber. Cool. Both can be made out of Bloodbone. Spears can be made out of Bloodbone. <clears throat> what about wands? Wood and Bloodbone, not the best. Actually, yeah, Bloodbone. That's why I love when I can get Shadowbone as a starter, because that is just amazing. It can be used in so many things. I could even make books. Very bad books, but books. What about swords? 
Oh, look at that, 200 great sword. Or, you know, great swords would be made out of that. Even the single-handed ones. And clubs are also fucking awesome, so... And look. Oh my god, okay. What about buildings? So the lumber mill can also take blood bones. Mine for some shit. I, I don't care about that. The wishing well is something. That would be wood and amber. That's fine. The playground. Bones, obviously. The dwelling. Uh, wood and amber. That would be good enough. Actually, wood and wood. Because it's higher amount, so higher sense. Herbalist hut can be made out of blood bone, so that's good for reduced death. And vicious hut for from blood bone. Yeah, honestly, that's a very good spot. Enough food for the settlement. Once we have all the resources, re uh, required food resources or food researches. Herbs, so we can just farm that like crazy. Wood is close by, so once we are good enough, or large enough, gathering range, we can get that, but lumber will, will be decent. And we are halfway through summer, and then it's autumn, and then it's winter. I need to, I want to put down my roots by the time winter is here. This is a pretty decent spot. And the scavengers and slamvians are still pretty close by, so I can come up here and just terrorize them. And also gather clay and whatever this one will become. I will never gather clay. Fuck clay. Trash. Hmm. We could check this little corner. I don't really care about this part because it's... Although, if it has good resources, it has water on both sides. Potential seaweed and fish. I wanna check this butt of the place. Like, I wanna check this, this, and I guess this connecting area as well. And maybe this little, whatever this is. But I don't care about this part. I wanna put down my roots somewhere here. Because if I put my roots down here, that's too close for the orcs and elves. So roaming parties will come through, right? And that will, yeah, get super close. Like, maybe here would be okay, but yeah. Because we also have to remember that uh, Striga mistresses are going to start spawning. And that's that's when we actually start dying, so... Uh, <laughs> I really want to spawn a village somewhere first. Before that. Let's just go for the... Uh, the Bloodborne Spiders. Get some reputation with the Stingers. Because it's very easy to get the Slavian reputation back up into positive, so I'm fine losing that. Gather gathers. Ah, uh, speed, I guess. That's good. Because your speed is low. And intelligence for you? Uh... Destiny might be better for him. Just for the, you know, the weapon, right? Because he still has no skills for anything. I'm just gonna give him fucking dice to me. Fine. Oh, vegetables! You find a cave of the spider cult's nest. There are indeed Slavian guards posted. Zerka, tell them the gods are not happy with their treatment of the spider cult, Zerka. Eh? They do revere the Lady Ziavana, after all. We are still better with physical, so we can just kill them. You kill the humans! And a spider cult approaches. Thank you! This is truly unexpected. Please harvest as much of the bloodstones in these caves as you wish, and visit us again if you can. Yay, it spawns a thing. That's nice. Yeah, that's that's easy to get back up. And now the stingers are not going to attack us on sight. And if they do, we can tell them to, you know, buzz around, because we are friends. Nice. I love the stingers. They're great. Fuck, I'm out of movement. I want to visit them and get some uh, bones, maybe. Oh. I feel like I'm going to put the thing here. 
But even if I don't. Now that you have had a little time to get your bearings, oh, no, how about it's... doing me and your gods a bit of a favor? No. You'd have to go to a place and deal with some trouble. No. Oh, actually, this is good. This is the uh, the previous chosen. Yeah, we can do that. As you remember, to set up your first village, you will need to find the right spot and gather materials. Or you can just choose the life of a wanderer. But either way, there will come a time when the gods ask you to do battle, to solve the Shattering's mystery. Also, even though Wanderer is pretty OP, and I actually enjoyed playing as a Wanderer, I do want to have a city because the attraction mod I have only works if you have a settlement. Because it's a settlement oriented event chain. So I will need to have a settlement if I want that. And I do. Because I want a bunch of uh, forest demons. <laughs> I want leshies, man. I want leshies. <laughs> I love them. Um. I love them and their area of effect, true damage bullshit. <laughs> For now, your job is to live long enough to face those challenges. Not very glamorous, I know. But listen, there is a small village of Slavians not far. A final rest from their heresy is... Let us just say they do... Cool! Battle orders. Alright, where is that final heresy? Come on, Theodore, tell me. Oh, they are here. Okay. Okay. You can only get a Leshy with Gosk Smite, I think. Nope. I have a mod. And that mod is giving us uh, one Leshy. One Leshy. But I have to get 75 loyalty with the Forest Demons. So. Yeah. I could have a Leshy. It's a chance based, it's not guaranteed, but it's in the cards. Yes, the heart of the cards. Find the spider calls, I want to trade. Oh yes, oh yes. That's the good shit right there. Every 10 turns we can come here and just collect some of our things and dump all the garbage we don't need. You know, 240, what can you give me? Oh. No. Because all this I don't need. Actually, since we're going to gather a bunch of blood bones... Let's get rid of these. Let's give some of the quartz. Shadow bones! I really want to make the playground out of shadow bones. Oh well, good chances then. I don't know if the chances are good or not. But it has a chance. But it only happens once. Look how much food and fuel we have. Holy shit. When did that happen? Holy crap. We really farmed the uh, grain when it was uh, a sunny day. That was a very lucky thing. And we have a lot of herbs so we can heal from... Uh, Spiritual. Eh? Okay, what do I want? There was something I wanted. Oh yeah, look at these. Is what I wanted. Javelins. Perception. One point one, one point two. It's faster, and it gives the delay as well. Jordi says first strike, but we are already pretty good for physical, so I don't. I don't really need the javelin. It's pretty heavy. Let's break it. There. But all these can also go this one. Yeah. Noise, noise. I could visit this as well. I think I'm good enough. I can just beat the villagers up and then it will be good. A lapiduck! Nice! It's always good to see a lapiduck. Yay! A spiritual blessing. That's good. Retaliation and wisdom for you. I mean, sure, your artifact is going to get stronger, that's fine. I hate darkness, I can't see! <laughs> oh, there was something. I really hope it wasn't a fucking Striga. 
or a bunch of befuddlers. I'm going to scream. Ah! Oh my god, what is that? Oh, it's just people. Kill them. Kill them! <laughs> yes, they want to fight. It's a craftsman and a warrior. Someone, somebody's uh, starting a group. Oh well. It's like uh, pl uh, fucking Thea 2 Battlegrounds, you know. Ooh, you drew the stor short straw. Oh god, boars. Okay, I don't like seeing the boars. Because the boars can fuck us. They're strong. You come to a small village. And as, as you walk in confidently, you see several scared faces looking out of their windows at you. Finally, a small group of villagers comes out to face you. The storm. It seems not to touch you. How? I am chosen. Oh, that. It's not our fault. It's that fool's Zbigniew. He has chosen too, you see. So we listened. And he said the light is good and we must worship it harder than the old gods. He said Svarog was a fool that cannot tame his own domain. Fuck you. They cower before your anger. But one of them remains defiant despite it all. We are simple folk and do not I don't care. Them. Where is she? Well, I don't know. We listened to a chosen Where is she? before. Your logic is sound chosen. Yes, I, I use sound as my logic. For the Emperor! <laughs> what is this? Kill it. Oh no, the fish people. So the Striga mistress is not far behind. But look, they gave us good stuff. Actually, they didn't. But they gave us some coal. I mean, that's burnable. That's good. It's dark. It's raining. I hate this. At least it's not foggy, so at least we have one thingy. As Big Niev, admit that Do we are honest. the ones. Good. Let me tell you though, your puny gods can suck it. I've had enough. <gasps> that wolf looks very dangerous. Look at the mouth on that one. That guy has a funny helmet. Uh, why are you so angry? I stopped. Oh. I was fed up with doing their dirty work. I li Zbigniew leaves, but he laughs in your face. Theodore appears. Well, that was always my number one choice, but was it really what your goal was? Oh, yeah, wanted? I forgot. A question to ponder. Whoops, fuck. Now, I leave you to your own devices, and the gods will surely call upon <laughs> your services again. But for now, please stay alive. Of course, it worked last time because we were with fucking harmony and light, right? Or harmony in nature. What do you want? There's a cat now. I can't see anything. But yeah, uh, it worked because of that harmony, right? But now we have turmoil and and light and nature, not harmony. And I chose the harmony one, and he just laughed at us. So I don't get the bonus because I fucked up. Ah! I should have just beat him up. <laughs> Fuck. Although I think it worked with Zoria as well, which I don't understand. Why? Oh well, it's done. What about these guys? Well met, friends. Now that Zbigniew is no longer troubling you or us, we can welcome you properly. Drink! Hey, ho, hey! Well met, friends. Now that Zbigniew is no longer troubling you or us, we can welcome you properly. Hey, hi! I will just leave them roaming. I want to explore. But you know, they will be there, and one day we will meet them, and uh, we'll get some bonus loyalty. <laughs> it's fine. Also, I like how my cat just sat in front of chat. But little does he know, I have another one on the other side of the monitor, so I can actually still see chat. Haha! <laughs> Take that, feline. You wake up, Zerk are here, consider this carefully before acting. All of a steady elongated shape slithers towards you slowly, twisting and turning. It's dismay! Almost as if it figures... The figures are hiding underneath. Watch them. This is a... a not a dismay, it's a ven, venu kois. Often referred to people, to by people, to people 
What? what? The Chain of Anguish! Oh yeah, this guy. The Chain of Anguish guy. It can extract a portion from these larvae. The Naya larvae, yeah. It's the Naya quest. Eat the bug! Good. Using your left hand, you carefully separate the right larvae and extract their insides to make the potion. Drink up and leave. Hey, intelligence, one gained intelligence. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that, 20.9. Uh, that's, that's the stop. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since that odd dream, or even before that, you had a sense of the world being wrong. It is a fleeting feeling, a butterfly that flutters in your gut every now and again. You ignored it before, but now its intensity makes you fall to it! True to your path, at least this time. You did not stay on this path when dealing with the failed chosen. I know. But then turmoil is all about the unpredictable, right? Yeah, yeah, give me my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> what do you want, Crow? I am no one of importance, at least not to you. But I do have a question for you. Why? An inquisitive mind is the brightest, yes. I do, but I will not share them with you. I am merely here to point you in the right direction. If you wish to unlock your true potential, you must find out why the gods remain weak. Follow your divine path and search for the truth. 100% turmoil. We're gonna kill things. We're gonna beat things up. <laughs> What's la bagarre? <laughs> what does that mean? Is that... Spanish? Or is it Italian? Beat them? Yeah, we're... we're Almost my full part. Like two, aside from two people in this party, the other six are physical based. French. Oh, French. Okay. <laughs> so we're definitely choosing turmoil. We're just gonna muscle everybody. Muscle. Oh, that is a very good skill for you. Hmm, nice. Muscle. All right, it's daytime, so we can just roam around. Holy fuck! Oh, that's gonna be bad. If they move on us, they might choose yellow. And I don't think my two yellow can beat the four yellow. Let's we'll see, let's we'll see. Faction two. Oh, fuck! Uh, that's fine, it's only sanity. It's <laughs> be fuddlers. It has a 15% chance that people will die. And it's already gone because they leveled up, so it's fine. Ooh. Uh. Faction? What faction? Look, what do you mean by faction? Oh fuck, it's Steel Mallet. It's not as dangerous and it's slower, but it has that area of effect that I really like. Or we can get the Clay Pole Arm, which is... Again, sl ah, it's shit. I'm gonna get the hammer. For the 18th strain. And the 11th strain chosen is going to get this, because their shielding is good enough from this spiky medium armor. And they have the natural armor. So, they're still okay. The clay pole armor is just going to break, it's trash. This guy... will get... This it's a little heavier, but they can they can take it. Twenty eight damage or twenty five. Thirty. I want to make spears. Um, who else is physical? One two. Oh yeah, we actually have a gatherer. So actually, we have three yellows. Three yellow and, and five physicals. One, two, three, five. But these are perception. We're gonna break the uh, worse axe. Does everybody have shields who can. Well, you don't have a shield yet. You need some sanity. Alpha Clan. Oh, um, who. I hadn't considered who to ally with. I want to ally with the uh, forest demons, definitely, because I want a Leshy. 
I never had a lashy. I want one. Alpha clans. So the way this mod works is, if I want blue pirates, I have to be in the negative with the Alpha Clans. And since the Blue Pirate Orcs are stronger than the Alpha Clan Orcs, I might have to go against the Alpha Clans. However, it's very easy to have higher loyalty with the Alpha Clans, because all you have to do is beat them. Beat them constantly and they will just, over the course of the gameplay, they will get uh, loyalty. So I, I'll have to see, but I haven't considered it, because honestly, truth be told, I didn't think I would be able to get this point, get to this point. So, I'm still just making it up as I go. <laughs> Investigate. Uh, we're gonna help the little fellow out, I don't wanna get uh, poised or cursed again. Plus we have skilled medics now, so we can actually heal the, the thing. And look at that! Gosh, that was a close one, thank you my dears! Plus one intelligence to the intelligence person, perfect. Good roll. What is that? Uh, whatever it is, it's gonna die. Rats. Dead rats. Okay, so here we don't really see a lot of stuff. Um, it looks like this is kind of how the, the island goes. Yeah, like this. This is how it goes out. Like this. There might be like one resource that's kind of good, but still nothing around it. Unless there are resources on top of each other. I don't want to go back. Winter is close. We're almost in autumn. Autumn is the best time to put down the the village because that's when crafting is faster. So yeah. By the second half of autumn, I really want to put down my roots. Um, you level up, you gain plus two intelligence. Hmm. Gathering needs wisdom, so we're gonna get wisdom. We're gonna run away from these guys because I want to explore first and foremost. Elvenwood? Oh! Who the debris? Good. Elvenwood, nice. And we got Starbuck bugs. Which is a food type. Oh, wait a minute. Granite, Elvenwood, that's better than the Bloodbone. No herbs. Okay, we need to look around here. Because if there's also fish and seaweed in here, and something here, this might be decent. Also, I'm gonna restart the Cult of the Lamp. So, uh, play a uh, soundtrack or OST. Because like, you know. the game's music is not 100% constant, right? So, it's fine. Nothing. Oh, nice. There could still be fish here. However... Fish and bugs don't mix, so that wouldn't be a lot of food source. But that's not good. But still, I kinda wanna see, so we're gonna step on that mountain. Oh wait, there's stuff here! Mm. What is there? I kind of want to uncover that. We have enough wood. We have enough food. And we can get seaweed to get more variety. That's fine. 8.4? Oh, that's good. That's garbage, though. A little lighter. Eh, that was a waste of a turn. Shit. Rats and bats nest. Oh, that just spawned there. But it's a level two. We are definitely going to keep that around. That is perfect.
Ah, shit. Had to throw away a cat. Oh, it begins. The light comes. Uh. Actually, no, it's not the light, it's the walls. Attack the Swatelko to show the man you know what you're doing. Yeah. Kill it. Good, good. So you know the Lightbringers will attack with spirit when they initiate the challenge. Yes, I know 100%. Still don't have a craftsperson, so sure. More crafting. Um, Firestarter is going to gain. They could go with that extra strength. We are turmoil. Get get some strange. Strong man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, food. If this turns into something cool, let's say uh, dragon bones, for example, I will definitely consider putting my roots down here. So I need to see what's here. And it's perfect because I already want to explore this and then loop back around here. If there's nothing good here, we'll loop up here and just go for the, uh, the pond that's there. Unless this... Hello. Beak has something good. Ooh, that's nice. Perception. Turn 100, okay. So, 50 more turns. Oh, Elvenwood, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Garbage. There might be another uh, scavenger stronghold somewhere, because these guys are here. If they attack, we just kill them. It's fine. Look at that, they give a lot of good food. It's meat. Plus, back here at the pond, fish can be gathered 100% efficiency all year round. So that's also pretty good. Spring and summer, summer and autumn for these. But the fish is always 100%. I, <laughs> I like that place. Oh, it's Arathor. Approach him. Knights? What kind of knights? Uh, is this a powerful enough to defeat the, the darkness? I agree. I accept. Take the sword, easy. We are strong. Give him the sword. Thank him. Wish him well. Ah, we got the King Arthur, and it's up here. That's good because we're going up there. Check this part, and then we go up, go down here, and up here. Yes. Perfect. And we have six advancement points again, which is perfect. So. Oh, you see a dark cloud approaching at an oddly high speed. It's it's birds. It's fucking birds. They notice the f it's a flock of crows. Kill them. Birds. We are slowly gathering enough shadow bomb for that playground. Mm -hmm. Ah, hello again. Have you felt it? An odd tingling, a disturbance. No. Oh, it begins. Yeah, a wonderful tremor of change in the air. Lightbringers spawned. That's nice. Really hope they don't spawn anywhere. Oh, actually, it's the Magic Master. It's the tower. Somewhere somewhere up here, probably. Like it's always on the, the ice plains. But, I mean, Lightbringers should be spawning soon, right? You're definitely getting the... Uh... No, she already has five strains. I really hate how carry capacity is not shown here. I don't know by heart uh, 
you know, how, how much carry capacity one strain gives. I think it's like 20? 25? Oh well, intelligence. It's dark again. Oh, my divine path is here. I should do that as well. It's a fairly early quest that can be done. Although, I don't remember Three Gloves' divine path, so maybe I shouldn't. Oh yeah, speed, 100%. What? <laughs> what are those? Are these humans? I really hope it was humans. Also, how did they go into the water? What the hell? They're probably standing here. Um, strange. Use the bridge. Face the questions. Tell him my name. Tell him my color. Use intellect. Blame the treasure. I'm not going to read this again. The treasure was another map, and it leads back up here, next to the pond. Even the dating game is at the pond. Honestly, it's <laughs> the Divine Path, the Arthur stuff, the dating game. This, one of the Slavian cities, the Bloodborne people who can give us uh, mythical leather and shadow bones. Um, I think that's the cave that's here, or maybe not, I don't know. The factions also up here. This is a perfect place. It's perfect. What the hell? Oh, we can go across here? Oh, right there. Interesting. Yeah, tier three. That's nothing. Ooh, fire grass. Ooh, item! Come across the remains of what must be a... Uh, oh, yeah. Stands near a vibrant stream. Many of the horns are made of stone. Even the path through the center is paved. Walk towards the center. As you approach the central square, you see a stone built well. A bell house and what looks like a perfectly preserved weaving loom. Complete with strands of half-finished spider silk linen. Huh? Bodies of villagers dried up and frozen in a grimace of terror. Their arms and legs are bound by weaves of spider webbing. Burn them. Bodies burnt, you feel that their soul remain ailing and bound to this cursed place. Some great force is clearly bent on tormenting them. We don't have good purple, so I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna kinda. kinda leave, you know? And thankfully we didn't get messed up either. They were spider people and they got murdered. It happens. Oh, look at that. We can even go up here. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. We're not going there, though. I want to go like this. And it's almost autumn, so... Plus, there's another benefit of having a uh, settlement. Uh, there are sp settlement-specific encounters. So if you can, if you have a settlement and an away party, double the encounters will happen on average, right? Which can be very beneficial. Yes. Is this perception, intelligence, and strength? Uh, that's new, though. I want parry and toughness on the tanks. So we're just gonna keep doing this. Do not introduce a new thing. That's fine, we kill these. You see, Slavians are already back into positive, it's fine. It's perfect. Oh, 
Forgot to press turn. An armed group of scavengers stands before you. Well, not for long. Hey, a boar. Nice. If everybody can have a boar, that would be nice. Yeah, we killed them. <laughs> Crafting is 25% faster. Enemies are as aggressive during the day as they are during the night. Well, that sucks, but crafting is faster, which is good. You get a boar. And... You get clothing. The healer is more important than the Zerka, in my opinion. So we can give them more shielding. I'll definitely go into these at some point, so start it. I would want herbalist heart. Witch heart. School and playground. And I'll keep this one. Or, you know, if I potentially find a place, I'll need. I probably need a new food recipe, so let's keep it. Poison Dagger, you don't really need that. Strength and Intelligence, you don't really need either. So let's keep it Gathering and you will keep it Inspire, because it's all new shit for you. You don't have Perception. Oh, look. You it's... best move along. You're no friends of ours. I just want to visit. There's another scavenger place. I think this is the small village. They have the large one up there. Oh shit! Oh, thankfully we ran out of movement. Because they attack with spirit, right? We don't have anyone for spirit yet, so... We definitely want to be the ones to move on them. Oh, but they give stuff. Different berries. They're the same as the herbs. It is different kinds because of the the healing kit mod. Give us some fruit, elven wood, another armor, 100%. Ooh, and we immediately got the research. That's gonna be very nice. 5.2 for everything. Oh, that's perfect. It's actually going to go on you. Actually, it's 4.0. Yeah, it's 5.0. 5.2, actually. Because these guys fight with multiple stuff as well, so that's, that's nice. That's nice. Wait, is that gold? Oh. So you have a gold fish. Wood, stone. There's clay and granite nearby. Heaven wood nearby. Um, nah, the pond is better. Plus with the pond, the Bloodborne people are close by and they give more than just Bloodborne. Oh shit! Shadowbone! I fucking love Shadowbone. It's heavy, but it's best tier 2. I have the huts for Shadowbone, but there's no food, nothing. Oh yeah, there's literally nothing here. There might be some food here, but I mean... <laughs> the meat and the fish are too far away from it. No, that's not gonna happen. Sage. Ooh! 
They have some good stuff on them. A uh, book. They're gonna keep that book. Blended sword. It's weaker, but it gives some shielding. How much more shielding? 39 goes to 48. That's an extra 9 shielding. Or lowered attack by 11. But this one also has slice. Air area of effect. That's good. I like that. Keep the clay battle axe. One of these are not needed. I also tried to look for a dual wielding mod, and I didn't find any. Because I would love to have someone dual wield. You know. It would be cool. Especially since they introduced the berserkers, like there should be a way to be able to dual wield two one-handed melee weapons, like two axes or something. You know. And just add like the 50% of the offhand damage to the fur to the main hand. And, you know. You know. It would be so nice. Alright, so which way do we go up? So oh it's it's this thing. So we should probably go this way. Although it's passable, so it's fine. So I'm not gonna go this way. Because we are 33 turns away from winter, so... I'm just gonna go back there and put my uh, place down. It's fine. Oh shit, Lightbringers. Okay, that's that's nice. I guess. I guess now we know where the first one is. We're going to destroy them. We're not allying with them this time. They have a pretty nice place. Look at that. Fish, seaweed, grain. They have two types of uh, resource. They have granite for that. Although bone is shed. A Bagara? No, no, no. They would push my shit in. We can't do that. They can live there for now. Although I think the first one is pretty easy. The first one can be destroyed easily, but also the first one doesn't spawn very strong units. I don't want this to be destroyed and then get replaced by a... I don't know. Uh... A troll cave or some shit. You know? It, it can stay there. We will come back and kill him. Although... This is very close. I might just swim across. <laughs> Honestly, I might not even go down this way. Ever. I will just swim across, because... The next area I want to go to is the Icelands anyways. The Frostlands. For diamond. Because with diamond I will be able to make very good robes. And that's pretty dope. Let's scale this mountain. Whoa. Ooh, silver. Turmoil. Kill them. They got super strong. Yeah, the light is in full effect. Sun rises, you feel its gentle warmth on your skin and rejoice at the growing strength of the light over darkness. But as you do so, you begin to feel uneasy. The warmth becomes ever more constant, unrelenting, air stale and oppressive. As you brace yourself against the heat, you soon see that the sun's rays are full of odd creatures. These light wisps are trying to attach themselves to you with their tentacles, and they are burning through your body and spirit. The darkness that accompanies turmoil and magic is weak against this foe, but if you resist, your dark power can destroy them. Resist physically and beat them. You resist the assault, and your domain exudes a burst of darkness that destroys their inf these infernal beings and turns them into obsidian ash. You do not know what they are, but their power was, un was unnatural and potent enough to reach your divine connection. The turmoil is darkness, of course. That's why we burst with darkness. They gave us some decent uh, relic. Shadow bones. Obsidian? Mm. I like that. Look at all these fish! Look at them, they swim! Forgot to sp spot my turn again. Mm. Oh shit! See? 
Oh wait, actually those are not undead. Those are scavengers, that's fine. They are easy. We're going this way. Ooh. Oh, there's a lot of fish and some vegetables and sandstone. Well, that sucks. And apparently wolves. Wolves just came out of the water. There's some swimming wolves. They're dead though. Wolves there. Oh shit, you're ambushed by bandits. Your goods are your lives. I don't have any attractive people. The Chosen. What? Okay, in the previous two runs, everybody was beautiful and attractive. Although in the elf run it made sense. Elves are always beautiful and attractive. Well, at least one. But all the humans and orcs and every manner of beasts were also beautiful and attractive. And now I have eight people and no one is beautiful nor attractive. Ha! Kill them! Okay, so level 6 physical challenge is where we start to take damage, which is actually pretty good. They're pretty, pretty good. P pretty good. That's good. That's trash. That's good. Uh, get what you can. You kill the bandits. Get human scoundrel. These are also bad. There's gold. Wait a minute. There's gold. Two types of food. Sandstone. So gold and sandstone. Or we can have blood bone. I really like the presence of the herbs. You could have scaled leather. Although one type of food only. That's, that's kind of shit. Okay, leather and blood, blood bone. That would be better than blood bone and amber. The gold and sandstone. Nah, I think bone... For the, for the buildings I have unlocked and the buildings I want to make first, bone is the way to go. Like, metal and stone is going to be for the, uh, the defensive structures, you know, the tower, the, uh, the armory, the forge. I guess the mine, but the mine can be made out of gems, it's fine. Yeah. Even the forge can be made out of gems, and the armory, so, yeah. And a tower. Okay, we're just gonna have a bunch of amber towers. Nice. Ooh, strange. Well, I guess I'm going to put my uh, people here. That reaches the herbs, reaches the fish, reaches the blood bone. Oh yeah, fuck. I will need this for the blood bone. Duh. But it's good to know there's gold around. Discover some ruins. As you enter the burial grounds, you feel the earth shift and notice bony hands coming out of the ground. Hey. I got something bony of myself that I can give to these bony hands. Unliving defy the lore of nature? Nah, just kill him. <laughs> it's fine, just kill him. <laughs> As I said, physical is the easiest thing to go for. So, yeah. Be fine. Elven Mallet. It's stronger. Hey. Uh, it's not much stronger. It has snares. Snares. 
also, like, how come snares don't give delay? Dale's damage to the enemy is played onto the battlefield. Trigger on enemy card play. Subskill effects are triggered when an enemy card is played. So, any time. So, once this card is on the, the battlefield, any enemy that comes out gets snared. But it would make sense if it added some delay, right? Right? It's like a preemptive retaliation. It would be good for the healer. Because the healer is going for intelligence. But it's so bad quality, I don't think I... It's almost the same damage. It's a little stronger. Oh yeah, because both the Wisdom and the Destiny is shit. But they will lose the shielding. Ah, uh, maybe from stronger materials, but not from Iron and Amber. Oh, we're starting to get fat. We need to make a village. Quick! Oh no, the wolves, they keep coming back. Which is good, because it's level 4, it's fine. They will never become dragons, you know, it's fine. What the hell are these? Oh no, these fucking fish people are annoying. 119, only 26 turns left. Or winter is here, although we have enough uh, fuel to survive the winter. We're fine! The problem will be the amount of people after this. But I can just make friends with the Slavians and use the tavern to get recruits. And I can also make friends with the scavengers and buy children. Ah. <laughs> and since the goblin lands are so close, even a shitty raft can take me across pretty pretty fast in like one or two turns. So honestly, this is a pretty decent spot, and it's far enough away from the uh, the stronger places. Not trading children. I'm not trading them. I'm buying them. I'm liberating them from slavery. I'm freeing them. It's fine. Oh no, cradle possums. These things. These things have kids in their pockets. So I kill them. There. I free the children. One more turn, maybe two, and then we reach our place. This. This will be our locale. Oh, there you go. Perception for the perception person and wisdom for the Zerka. Easy. Good rolls all around. Goodbye, Seed. Ah, see, this would be great. With that, I could put myself somewhere else. Although, honestly, depending on what this turns into. But these are too close. It might not let, even let me put stuff down here. Because I, 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 for some reason I remember there's like a... A minimum distance you have to be away from a, an NPC village. I think it's like four or six tiles. So, uh, I would have to destroy them. I don't want to destroy them. They're a very easy source of uh, experience. <laughs> Plus we can buy kids. That's fine. This wouldn't be bad. The scaled leather, but it's close enough. The Shadowborn has no food inside. I mean, these two, but it's a bit, they're too far away. The Elvenwood is just Elvenwood. Even with these two sources. Mm, the Lightbringer place 
wouldn't be that bad, but... It's two types of stone and the same bone twice. Three, wo three food source, but yeah. Depends on what's here, but I don't want to go back down there. And the gold has enough food, but the sandstone is shit. Yeah, this this is pretty much good. I mean, this might be something. But I, I'm gonna say fuck it. Fuck it. Even if something up there is better, and it's it could be, I, I just don't care. If I had one more shadow bone. Actually it's not good because it's it uses not a lot. Ran it. 6.4, look at that. Yeah, diamond also would have been nice. Yeah, it's a granite idol. An idol of stone. 37 chance that it's going to be trash. Good evening. Hey, Goroni. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to hard difficulty. Yeah, that's right. We go hard here. Only the hardest of difficulties here. And we are actually thriving. <laughs> I had extremely good roles with kids and growing up. I already have a healer. I have a Zerka. I have two warriors. Two uh, hunters. Actually, three warriors. Yeah, three warriors, two hunters, a gatherer, a Zerka, a healer. Perfection. And we are just putting down our roots. Which will attract more enemies. Because I think they, they see the village from further away, I don't know. And we have an unliving crypt as our, uh, <laughs> as our neighbors. Dudnitsa! I don't know what that means, but it sounds cute. So we are going to keep it. Dudnitsa. We are the adorable villagers of Dudnitsa. I mean, it's not really a village, it's... It's two houses, actually a house and a shack, and some tents and barrels. Fuck. We don't have movement, so they will go on us. It sucks. Oh well, got a village this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the previous run was specifically a wanderer run because I wanted to get the achievement. Because I never, I never did the uh, main quest without making a village. And afterwards, I didn't want to make a village after getting the achievement because I was having fun with that. But I want a village this time. I also have a mod that lets me. Uh, have uh, like different faction recruits if I have high loyalty with them, but it requires me to have a village, so that's another reason I kinda need a village. So Dudnitsa is up and running, and immediately we're going to make a lumber mill out of shit! Just three bones! Three bones! What would the shadow bone give us anyway? One, two, wood. What about the blood bone? Ah, you see? That's not good. Because it's almost winter. Then again, we have enough wood saved up uh, that this would be fine. Look at that, it's just... Do we have, like, enough, uh... We have enough steel? Oh, but it's just... Oh, actually, it's iron, never mind. It's trash. Whatever, man, it's fine. Make the lumber mill, so it can start making wood. Yeah, we already have... Yeah, I'm going to let them burn the dryad wood, the normal wood, and also the coal. Because right now we don't need... We won't need coal for a long time. Actually, let's not burn it. I'll only turn this on if we uh, arrive at some... Or, you know, get some uh, bad time with, with fuel. You know, it's fine. We're fine. 
Then again, hold on, it's not fine. Because what do I equip my gatherers with? Although the away team can just come here, get some wood, and then move on. It's it's fine, it's close enough. Also, stuff. Nine it helps. We need a lot of blood bonds so we can make our buildings as quickly as possible. Go make babies. I can't force them to make babies. They might make babies if they want to. Oh, the fish people moved away. That's good. Fuck them. Oh, hi there. I'm your house demon. Welcome. I completely forgot we get a house demon for free. Blubber. Blubber is back. Blubber gets the shield, Blubber gets uh, nothing else. Where do we put Blubber? Oh, is there research? Oh, they made the lumber mill. Yeah, 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 yeah. nice. Nice. Is it a good lumber mill though? It's trash quality lumber mill, but it still gives one wood, so that's fine. It's not zero to one, so I don't care. It would have been one anyways. Maybe if it's mastercrafted, it gives one to two, but it had like, what, 2% chance for mastercraft? Six percent. It's fine. It's fine. Next up, we want the herbalist heart made out of. I could make it out of normal bones, but that's uh. No. We make it out of blood bone. Shadow bone would be the ideal starter, but. Blood one will we'll have to do. So that's good. Then we want to make a blood bone witch's heart. Uh, it should give us herbs. Actually, herbs are not needed. Because we can gather herbs from the field. So we can go with the increased faith. Which is good. Because we have nobody with faith. So more health is good. Yes, yes. We are rolling now. Children's playground. When the babies come. If you want a witch. Hmm. Still like this more. Ah, this would be perfect. I need to go out and get some scaled leather. But I mean, for now, the blood bone is okay. And the school. Made out of bones. It's a school of bone. <laughs> Even more faith. So less research point per character by 0. 0.6, which is whatever. But more research points per turn and more faith. Yeah. So now we need 105, 210. Over 340 bones. So, let's get gathering, I guess. And also ember, because ember is going to be good for uh, other buildings. Like the warehouse. Actually, not the warehouse. The warehouse is bones. The mine. Um... Food is what I want, right? Yeah. So we have grains and fish. Let's get the food. How does that increase is permanent? Uh, no. They only increase the stat for the uh, children. While they are children. So once they are not children anymore, the buff is lost. 
but it's it's mainly for grow up uh, events, you know, because if you can have an extra three for every attribute, it's a lot easier to get the uh, grow up event you want, you know, because you might not you might want a, a witch, but you don't get a mysticism on the child's level up, but thanks to the playground you can have on the child increased base mysticism and they can become a witch. Yeah. So it's lost on grow up, but it's a very helpful thing for the children. It's 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 honestly one of the most powerful buildings in the uh, the village because the children are the future. You know. Okay, so we cannot make anything with this. The bugs don't work because we don't have bugs. It's something with double fish, double grain, grain and fish, traditional menu. Grain and grain. I'm gonna do the grain and fish because fish is easier to collect. Even in winter. And then the other one will be... Well, I mean these two also. That's fine. It's a good start. It's a good start. So let's put these on. We have the fish and the grain. It, we can make pierogies. Very nice. Who's gonna make us some pierogies? This guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, bees. Right on cue. They can give us some nectar. Turn 125, a good start. Yeah, it was a very good start. I got super lucky. Like the uh, the location of the scavengers and the Slavians up here in a very nice secluded place. Um, this could become something good. Hopefully. Not clay again. Um, what else is good? This is a decent... Decent starting... Or decent village spot as well. The rest of the map is also pretty good. I can easily go up to the goblins uh, through water and then, e and then very quickly to the ice plains so I can avoid all this garbage. My kids all grew up into what I wanted them to grow up into. I'll accept the, uh, the mysticism person, but that's fine, that's fine. I think they turn into a healer anyway, so it's fine. So yeah, already have a healer. Like, on the previous run, or, or maybe it was the, the Zoria run, but one of the previous runs, it was like turn 600 by the time I got a healer. And now, it was like, what, turn 60? It's pretty good. I am satisfied with it so far. I can't wait to lose it to a Striga mistress. <laughs> hey. Hey. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna turn off the, um... I'm gonna turn off the bell. These. So they don't show up on the side. Because we, we we're not gonna have enough bones. We, we only get 9 per turn. That's, yeah. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> 10 turns for one building, basically. Yeah. But also, the food is coming. We got 8 types of food. So we're going up to 80. Which is basically all we need for the settlement. Hey. Everything is looking too good to be true. I can also attempt the dating game soon. I'm gonna just send my chosen in alone and uh, hope that I get a physical challenge, you know. An old man finds his way into your village. He's clearly in pain and complains of a backache. He looks at your homes. See you're building a home for yourself, good. But you youngsters nowadays don't know how to build properly. These homes will fall down in the blink of an eye. Mark my words. It's a shame to see so much effort just wasted. If he's so smart, ask him to teach you. Allow him to rest or share a bit of food. Uh, if, if you're so good, teach us. And why should I waste my old breath on you, eh? My back aches. I need to get to a healer. I have no time to spare. Well, you're in luck, mister. We have a healer. <laughs> Offer to help him with his back in exchange for his wisdom. 
it's not a very kind grandpa. Dude, no, he's great. If you have a healer or enough food, he's great. Look, he's gonna turn us into a dragon. Bam! Crafting! We still don't have a craftsperson, so this is actually pretty good. It's very good. But I'll be damned to the underworlds, good as new. A stank shall tell you what's what and how, so. That's not how you use a hammer. And do you call this a proper foundation? Lecture continues for quite a while, but you're indeed learning new things. Hmm. Sadly, it's not on the characters that had a higher crafting already, I think. Actually, one of them should have the craftsperson. No, neither. One of my warriors have the crafting uh, skill, I think. But, oh well. It's still a positive thing. Helps, it helps. Yeah, Grandpa is good. Grandpa is a helpful, helpful little event. Poison daggers, retaliation. Or strained. Oh my god, they are already over 20, but they're still super slow. Maybe I should give them some wits. And they have the hammer, right? Which is also slow. Yeah. Ah. Stick with the plus two. Oh yeah, what is Blubber? What does Blubber have? Destructive words. Ah. Counterattack. That's good. Stronger destructive words. I mean, it's the good poison. Actually, let's go with this because it's purple. We need someone with decent purple skills, so sure. He will need to defend uh, the settlement against Skrieg of Mistresses and shit. Stay low. But stay in here. Oh, look! There, there, there you go. They're starting to make kids. It's a brat. It's Milo the brat. <laughs> Actually... Yeah, sure. It's Milo the brat and he has a book. Actually, he's gonna have a wand. It's fine. And I can actually put him on onto the field. Work. Actually, work where we work with our uh, ember. Wait a minute, we have ember, right? We can craft. We can craft more gathering tools. We can craft whatever we want. I can also start crafting uh, healing kits if I want. But I don't want to do that yet. What about jewelry? 3.0 weapon block. I mean, that's not bad. I can make a couple of them. Make five of dudes. I don't know who the best crafter is. So let's check. Um, 10, 12, 19. Oh. Twelve, thirteen, seven, thirteen, twenty. Oh yeah, this is the person with the craftsman, and they also have that. Yeah. It's virtuos. It's you. Craft tier two gem. I can't. I would have to unlock the tier two gem for that. I don't have any gems unlocked. Without unlocking the gems, you can't craft higher ones. Well, that's not in the cards yet. It could be possible, although I would have to get coal for that. And we don't have res uh, access to coal. And I only have 68. I mean, 68 times 2. Because one coal gives two diamond, essentially. But, yeah, That would run out pretty quickly. It's fine. It's fine. Need to clear up this. You see how all the enemies are suddenly just kind of flocking to our, to our settlement? They smell the good food. They smell us. Ooh, sneak attack. It's kind of shit, but it gives us something for uh, 
spiritual fights. How is research going? It's gonna take a while. I kinda wanna focus on research a little more. So let's get you out of there. Get you out of there. Twenty-five turns for one. Ugh. Got one more res advancement point. That we're going to. Um. I would get more essence bonus for these things. It shouldn't be bad. I think I'm gonna do that for the robes, yeah. Starter robes are pretty decent. And now we basically we just sit here for a couple turns. We just wait. Wait for all these garbage to come at us. Oh, look at that level 5 humans. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is the problem here. Ouch. She's in a little trouble. Oslava. That's not cool. Lullaby, we don't need that. We don't need that here. Plus the intelligence, definitely. So essentially, I want to sit around here until I can build at least the herbalist hut. And actually, we have enough bones for that. Oh wait, actually, I should make the children's playground, because we have a child. We have a child. You are a good crafter. Make a playground. 12% chance? What's the other craftsperson? It was the archer, right? This one. Yeah. Four turns. Whip it take you too. Useless. Okay. So yeah, the playground and the uh, herbalist heart. Hey, two of your fellow villagers decided to get married, and since times are dire, it is more important than ever to cherish such occasions. Wedding celebrations last for seven days, and it is customary to make sure everyone takes part. Nice. Begin. Ah, it's Virtuos and Firestarter. And they gain 6 maximum health, that's nice. To honor the power of Triglav, the couple wanting to become one must together slay a wild beast. The beast is brought by the village elders and, and put in the fighting pits, but the young contestants must face it together or fall trying. They might die. Ah, uh, they might die. Oh shit. There might not be a baby, there might be a funeral. Firestarter is not very good with physical. <laughs> Although it is just a challenge, not an extra fight, so they should survive. Of course the beast is only symbolic, yeah, and it will often take the shape of a single spider or rat, but the ritual has been known to cause some harm. If Robin worthy, the new couple is blessed by Triglav, and their uni union is destined to survive any hardship. Only then do the usual lib libations with, with an excess food, strong spirits and plenty of naked dancing through the night proceed and last for many nights. Celebrations take a toll on everyone. You must see how well you all did against the inevitable alcohol poisoning and upset the stomachs. Oh, they actually did pass. Oh, that's why they got that. This is just the uh, libations. Oh, never mind. We're fine. We're 100% okay. I thought this was for these two only. But apparently they just automatically won. It's fine. Good. Time to wind down. Wedding was deemed a great success, and the happy couple begins the new journey. Physical to make the baby? 
Oh, baby is coming now. Baby is going to be birthed. In a couple turns there, it's probably gonna be a baby. Oh, showing off for you. Sure. Blubber. Blubber needs wisdom. Wisdom, destiny, mysticism, and intelligence. Huh? Sure. L5 physical, they need some turn. Ah, they won. We won, easily. Ah, uh, this child wants to become a fucking strong man as well. Sure, more warriors, yeah. <laughs> We're all gonna be warriors. We're just gonna run at things and physical them. I'm gonna arm wrestle things to death. This unliving crypt might spawn Strigas at some point, right? I mean, they are technically unliving. Maybe I should get rid of that. One more turn for the child. Nice. Yeah, it's normal quality, so that's 1.9 extra. I really hope it rounds up. But uh, we'll see, I guess. So Milo the Brat now has 3.9 for everything and 5.9 for strength. It's definitely going to become a warrior. Warrior. Again, another warrior. That's fine. Old woman comes to your gates at night asking for shelter. Sadly, we don't have any witch, so we don't know if this is a harmful old woman or a helpful old woman. It could be either. We're gonna invite her in because we just don't know better. Mm. Fuck! They stole my child! <laughs> Leave the rats. Let the rat sleepers, you can track down the children. Aha! The children. We need the child back. We need Milo the brat back. So... I'm gonna personally just run out and just beat her the shit up. Both of these. They can all stay. We're just gonna physical the... Uh... Actually, the healer can come. Piece of shit, give us back the child. Ah! Finally, I catch the witch who stole your child. Kill her. You kill the hag and find a few children in the sack, some sadly dead already. But not Milo, Milo is still okay. And we get a topaz robe. Rescue do as you can and leave. Which is just our own. Damn, motherfucker. Oh shit! You're gonna get attacked. That's fine. I took my strongest warriors. Yeah, bows. Oh, that's a decent bow. Both are decent. Ah. Oh. Nice. Uh. 
right? There's a lot of garbage on the on the field. <laughs> like a lot of garbage. Cool. I need to put the people back in here. Boy. I have 101 bones. So I can make the school, but I want the herbalist hut first. Because that will basically be a healer, right? And then I can take the healer on the uh, of A team. That's good. Yeah. Gathering for the old man? Sure. Gathering for you as well. Milo wants. Uh... Bam, Milo wants garbage. Sure. They want a lot of perception-based skills, but they are strained already, which sucks. So you inspect your snares, set up the fields, you discover a large rat trying to wibble free. Its eyes greenish. That's not a rat. Examine further. After a close in inspection, you see the creature is no rat, but more likely a spore, benevolent good-natured spirit of fertility and prosperity. Hmm, more child. Often takes on the form of a snake, rat, or frog. Uh, let's release it. You approach the trap carefully and gently dismantle it. Right, I'm gonna let you go, little fella. Creature disappears in a puff of white smoke. Nice. Oh, parry. Oh wait, this is energy scattering. It works with red as well. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, go with that. Also, Milo is our first death. Even though he didn't die. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I know. It's It's crazy, right? He died, but he lives. It's basically because the uh, when he was stolen, he was removed from the group, and you, you had the uh, crossed out picture, and the game treats that as death. You know? So he died, he, he, he's, he's basically died once, even though he never died. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. The house demon will get that. Actually, you'll get the weaker variant. Or the weakest variant. <laughs> but he will definitely get something, because he's a house demon. Who's naked? You're naked. Uh, he'll get this. That. And I think there's a better bow. Yeah, 1.3. Both of these are 1.3, but this is a little lighter, so that's... Oh, I broke the 1.3. Nice. Whatever. Whatever, the other one is not that bad either. Just a little bit worse. I'm actually going to give Milo... Also, Milo lost all his equipment. He can get his sword back, but he's going to get a bow. To emphasize that he wants to become a, a hunter. Based on his skills, he's, he's definitely for a hunter. But, yeah. How long does he have? 26 turns. Hopefully he will still gain a level and get strained. Because, yeah. If he turns into a fucking warrior with those hunter skills, it's gonna be garbage. We cannot have that. I also have three advancements. I could go for Dragonbone. Wait a minute, I could go for Dragonbone. The goblins are right here. And the goblin land is where Dragonbone is. Problem is we don't have anybody with purple. We can't really survive a purple challenge. So, eh. Eh. 
Unless we attack everybody and we just beat them up. But that won't always work. What else could there be? We we'll go for max that jewelry. Dwelling. I also want Moonbridge. Oh yeah, let's let's farm out Moonbridge. Because then I can just go wherever and just teleport back. Yeah, I can just take a lot of uh, shit. I have neither of these. I have neither of these available. That sucks. If I make the fe the cabbage patch, I can get vegetables. And I can just tell the people not to eat the vegetables. And always have 70 with me for the moon bridge. And since I am planning to go to the goblin land and the frozen plains, I can gather the other type of requirement there. Hmm. And I can summon a boat. Yes, summon a boat. Perfect. We should have enough bones now for the uh, the herbalist hut. Need the best get crafters. These three. Actually, that's the school. This is what I want. Well, it's almost winter time, and that's when all the fun will begin. All the fish are back. The demon is approaching you aggressively. Well, demon, you fucked up. Shouldn't have been aggressive. Haha! -ha! Aggressive we can handle. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. It's a nice codex. Oh, look, it's windy again. Great. Oh, they're done with the research. Nice. Uh, cool. Actually, we have enough of that. Mass produce the amber. Because then we can also start crafting up the jewelry. Which is nice. And also robes. Amber robes? Yes. Because both the robes and the uh, jewelry are maxed out, right? It's winter! Ems and villages use two fuel per turn instead of one. Uh, we still have enough. Actually, we don't. I will have to turn on the uh, the coal burning. It's like playing Frostpunk. <laughs> Most of the spawn chance is higher. Enemies are aggressive. Experience points, experience points are doubled. Gathering is more difficult. That's fine. Yeah, both are maxed out. Nice. I could go bone and uh, gem heavy armor, but. Eh. Your three is what I need for the two handeds. That sucks. Earth vision. Oh shit. Armored bears on the starting island. 
Oh shit. How did they cross? You go down to the fields to check if any crops survived this night and you discover a large molehill on your way. A peculiar looking mole carrying a small shovel pops up. A whore! It's very happy. Speak to it. It's a mole. Uh, give some some clothes. Uh, blubber's clothes can be given. Yay! A whore! I mean, we can make them back. It's fine. But they give us some pretty good looking crafting tools. 130%. 12, 17, 18. Oh, an extra 7%. I don't want him on crafting because he's a pretty good gatherer. 21, 28. Although I do have a gatherer already. And this person could get... Actually, yeah. yeah let's do that. Like this. Yes, good. Good enough. Drain Vigor, this book I don't like. Look at those 7 FPS bears running. Oh, great. We are dying from faith. Get the wise ones. Ah, she'll do well. Five turns for her. To finish this. Two turns. I mean... Yeah, three turns is good enough. Yes, Master Healer. Oh, Milo wants uh, intelligence now. What? Sure, Milo, you can get the plus twos, it's fine. Stupid child. Everything except perception has showed up for, for him now. And he's got perception skills, so... He's, he's wonderful, he's a great child. My little brat need muscle? No, he need perception. But he's not getting any. He refuses. We have enough people to beat people up, it's fine. One more turn. Milo might actually just die. Oh yeah, he's, he's losing health now next turn. Gonna die. Oh, they made the uh, thing. So the Witch's Hut is going to give us faith, and this is also going to give us faith. 8.2 faith, 7.0 faith, but it will give us research points. Yes, yeah, sure, you know what? Make it. Research points, passive research. Oh shit, level 5. Okay, we need to craft up some uh, things now. That hurts. One-handed axe. Eh. Scavengers really hate us now, but that's fine. That's fine. Did he not complete this? He completed it, but he's still... Milo is still suffering. That's all it replenished? Suck my wiener. I need more. Ah. Uh. Fucking wind. Okay, that's only level 4. Small armored bear, okay. So this is not the strongest armored bear. It's going to be worse. But it's fine. 
And they give us decent uh, stuff, you know, they give us tier 2s. Not as good as Bloodbone, of course, the bones are shit, but the leather is, is useful. Alright, the wind is gone. I'll let them finish this. Because it's Milo is still low on stuff. I want to send out my Chosen to do this, but I'm afraid that they will, they will get jumped by something. And then only mean Crypt is right there. Oh yeah, speed. I like speed. I like speed, I like cocaine, oh yeah. I like crack. <laughs> oh. What the fuck, Milo? You know what? Yeah, reliable argument. You, d you don't... Milo is literally all over the place with those level ups. What do we need for a better playground? Yeah, either diamond or dragon bone would be nice. Yeah, I really need to make a beeline for the diamond place. Hmm. 0% trash chance. This would be so good. Oh, and now we're making some jewelry. That's good. After that, we can make some... Uh... Actually... But that's 3.4. It's 7.6. Yeah, this is better. It uses 24. And this uses 28. Sure, it's lighter, but yeah, robes are going to be the priority. Some robes. In two turns, they can make robes. They can make five robes in one turn. Yeah. Don't need argument when you can have a ghostly axe. True, but if he doesn't become a hunter. Getting perception on him later on is going to be difficult. Although if he becomes a scavenger or a scoundrel, Destiny is going to be decent on him at least. So that's something. Wisdom, strength, yeah, strong. Wait, I didn't check the robes. I got one master crafted robe and four normal normal robes. Look at that. Everybody just naked is going to get a robe. Okay. Let's see. 6.4, 7.6. Do you have 8.2? That's good enough. What do you have? 5.2. You're gonna get the 9.4. I'm gonna break this garbage. What do you have? 5.2 4 Oh, we have one of these. What is this? 13.4 That point 3 It looks like an upgrade Wow! A tiny upgrade, but it's an upgrade nonetheless. Now we can make some uh, jewelry.
Actually, we gained some wood from the events. So we have enough wood for the winter. So I don't need to turn on the coal burning. That's good. That's decent. Um, do we have more research? No. Oh, that sucks. Need to go out and kill things. Apparently things will come to us. Hmm, meat. Hey, research. That's good. Um, this guy is the wisdom guy, right? Yeah, Zerkas are the wisdom guys. Destructive words. I feel like I'm just gonna huddle down. Or, you know, stay in here for the winter. And do the dating game. And the King Arthur stuff. And this also. also uh, during the season, uh, spring. Because then it's less chance of these fish people and stuff moving on to the uh, settlement. While we, the half of the group is gone, essentially. You're a strong man. Strong. Oh, the Slavians are chasing the befuddlers. How oh, wacky. Make that. Oh, we are running out of grains. What the fuck? Oh shit, because she's here crafting. Oh my god, that's why. She just crafted me. Oh my god, 578 pierogies. Fish pierogies. Yum. That's why we ran out of fucking grain. Ah, and it's winter, so it's pretty slow. Whoops. I messed that one up. That's okay. That's fine. I wonder if the uh, visibility and movement range uh, or movement point reduction affects roaming groups as well. It would be nice if it did, but I have a singing feeling that they don't care about these kind of weather effects, you know. Oh, we made some artifacts, or not artifacts, jewelry. Is to get them first. Prioritized. Um, let's see the buildings. So we have a normal quality hut of bone. Normal bo uh, school. Normal hut. Okay, so they are all normal quality now. I mean, this is trash, but the rest are normal. And this is this doesn't matter whether it's trash or not. So that's good. They can stop with the blood bone. Get on the ember. Get that research. I should also make the, uh, what's we call it? The training grounds? Or not training ground, what is it called? The armory. Because I think the armory can give passive experience. And, you know, combining that with the three gloves point four. It's a pretty decent passive, especially for kids. You know, they level up a set amount of times before they uh, grow up. Would be nice. 
But we need a lot of research now. So we need to get more terrain stuff and creatures. Which means... We're gonna have to go up to the terrain artifact, because that's one guaranteed research point. Or advancement point. Hardened advancement points on unlocking new materials and recipes. Yes, yes. Hard earned. Uh-oh. I think... Okay, those are Rusakas. That's not good. Alright, so they grow up, and they have... They gained a physical blessing, so they're definitely going to be a, either a warrior or a hunter. I'm going to try for them to become a hunter, because they already have Ghostly Axe on level 2. And outmaneuver on level 1, so they... And they have a bow, so... Another healer wouldn't be bad. They do have 5.9 intelligence, which is basically 6. They have a better chance of becoming a healer than a hunter. But their skills... Yeah, an attractive hunter! Milo the Brat. Milo the Brat is no more. He dons the name. Lizard Man. Okay. Oh, and he gained poison throwing on grow up event, which is useless for him. But that's fine, he already has two good skills. Nice! We got another hunter, yes. Lizard Man. Perfect. What happened to our herbs? <gasps> oh my fucking god! This happened to our herbs. I knew this would become a problem. I forgot about the blubber, just spiritual healing away. He ate all our herbs. <laughs> No. Not the herbs. Oh. That sucks. Oh, this is gonna suck as well. The Rusakas found us. Great. Um, let's see the outcome. Okay. Only 15% chance that they will give up and suicide. Okay, I should have manual... Yeah, I should have done that manually. That's okay. We're fine. Actually, we are immediately fine because we have enough... We have enough uh, morale gain. But they just regained it. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, but enough. Not even close. Actually, I think this doll is better than what someone else has. 1.2... Let's listen to some justice. Yeah. Justice. Okay. Honestly, I should keep with the, uh... The robe making. And again, everybody has robes, yeah. And no one has the thingies. But right now, the jewelry is actually pressing. Oh, look, skeletons! You see? That tier 2 skeletons are spawning from a tier 4 crypt. It's fine. We are perfectly fine. I also see some spiders there. For days now, your idol has been acting oddly. Its usual glow of protecting power is weak, and it simply looks unwell. Well, we know what this means. It means that rats are afoot. Search your books. 
discover rats in your cellars, and when you track them... So we are searching our books for answers. Apparently our books were down in the cellar. <laughs> it still makes sense, where's the connection? We killed the rats for a lot of meat. That's nice. A lot of meat. We could cook that meat. That's fun. Oh yeah, plus two perception. Now he gets it. Yeah. He understands what he needs to do now. Oh shit. Uh oh, it's coming. I see it. It's right there. You see them? A pair of tits. In the five. That's death. Oh, we are in a pickle. Because both sides have the fucking fish. But if it comes to us, it kills us. If we go to it, we can kill it. But these guys might kill us. Ah, that's catch 22 or something. Mm, okay. ah. <laughs> we have to kill it, though. We have to kill it. We have to kill it. They're not going to camp, so it's just formality. They also take some herbs. We can't reach her. We can reach these guys, but then we can't come back for this. Well, I guess we're fucked, because if we move out here and she attacks, that group is definitely dead. Or at least one person in that group. So I guess we... Uh, we'd better take our chances. We do have buildings. For increased faith. And we do have the Herbalist Hut. And the Healer to reduce death chance. 7% lower death chance from bonus. It where's the healers reduce? Do they not stack? They should stack. Yeah, why does this not show up on the effects? This is also for the group. We'll see. Oh shit. We're gonna die. I think a guard tower made out of gems also gives spiritual shielding. Fuck it. Nope. Sanity and health. Really? Look how flimsy of a fucking little orcish tower. Uh -huh. Wait a minute, we can make jewelry, that gives us some spiritual shielding. We need to do it. I stepped away to let the cat in. What happened? Oh shit, they're up there. They are sizing us up. Alright, we gotta kill it. We gotta end that piece of shit. 14, 16. I'm gonna take the strongest warriors. 
Ten turns worth of food is enough. Take some wood. The herbs as well. Hey, you! Naked woman! Die! Bruh. It's fine. We're fine. We just need to hope that no one attacks us while we are apart. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? <laughs> well, oh my god, there's a stronger one. God. Hello, three or four times against this? Yeah, I, I know. Uh, during my Zoria run, I almost had a game over because of one of these motherfuckers. This <sighs> is like a hundred health. Okay, fifty-five in true damage. <laughs> It one-shots everybody. Yeah, no one has more than 45. <laughs> what if I buff the shit out of one person? Although it's true damage, so shielding... Shielding doesn't even help! <laughs> Inspire, go! It gained three damage, wow. Red blubber. It's gonna be a hundred and sixty-five damage. It's going to kill three people in the first turn and three more people in the second turn. One, two, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. All of these are going to die. I yeah, I literally cannot win this. Who's got damage? Uh, not having a... Uh, a purple person... At this stage? Yeah, it, these are going to fuck us. No matter what I do. The only thing I can do is move on to them, as I did with the other one. But even that went kinda poorly. Bruh. And they double teamed us. Fucked. We fucked. Oh, this guy costs two. No matter what I do, we're fucking dead. Don't kill us. I'm not even gonna look. Oh wait, I have to look because I have to fucking choose who to attack. Wow! Pew pew! Pew pew pew! Oh fuck! Ah! 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 That was bad positioning on my part, but it doesn't matter. I couldn't forfeit! Wait, could I? Could I? I mean, it doesn't matter now. I mean, I thought you can't forfeit when they initiate the fight. Run. And it the worst part is it's still alive. It's alive, and it was the end of turn, so I can't even make a... I can't even... I don't have any way of quickly create spirit or faith restore. Uh, yeah, I... It was an extremely good start, and this is how it ends, every single time. Oh well, that goes Milo the Brat. <laughs> is he still alive?! No. What the fuck? Controls, go. We're gonna do the dance to kill it.
Vengeance? Yeah. <laughs> what else? Yeah, get fucked. I could summon I could summon a boar. They don't have true damage for a ranged attack, so I could sh give shielding. This one deals 55 damage, it's gonna attack her. Wait, what the fuck is this? Huh? Esther deals damage to its actual health and then applies the damage multiplied by the skill's power as an attack, ignoring enemy armor. Huh? I thought this was a help, but it's not a shielding. But shield with this. Eight shielding on her. Because she's already on 27 health only. Although she's gonna get fucked as well. Could Lily buy this. Point five. That thing is so fast. Look at that. The fucking daggers. Ay, ay. This guy is just murder. Summoning would do nothing. Do we have enough damage to kill it though? 27. Another like, what, 27 again? 40. 80. We might have enough damage to kill it. We have three more uh, thingies. I'm gonna use one protect others. Everybody costs two. Yeah. So I can actually only play one more card. And protect her. She's the last one, so she'll definitely get the hit. Oh wait, this is double toss. This will attack someone else as well. What if... <sighs> she comes before this one, but attacks this sadly, so the, 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 the headbutt doesn't matter. If I put her out with headbutt, she's gonna be after this asshole, so that doesn't matter. Although she will give her two more delay. Which would put her to... Is it 2.0? It's 2.8, so it would be 2.8 plus 9.5. 13 point something. Which could mean... That her 11... Could be before. 27 damage. And that shouldn't... Oh my god, no. It, they played the fucking dagger again. We're fucked. Yeah, fuck me, I guess. The boar, the boar would have been useless. If I attack this, this one gets 2.8. So it would be 8 point... Yeah, it's still gonna come before. Make... At least we can push this down to bottom, so that's fine. Poison. Oh, she's dead. She's fucking dead. <gasps> oh, my... Who the fuck was that? Oh. Virtuos, I'm sorry to say, but you might die. Wait a minute. We stopped on the city. We can go back in. 
That gives us an extra death chance resist, or death resist chance, an extra 7%. Uh, and we immediately need to uh, work on this. Okay, no one's doing anything else. We need the bashed people on this. We can make two per turn. Gather. Gather. Try not to die. But that really didn't work well. And they don't spawn from crypts either. That's one of those groups that just kind of appear out of nowhere. The same with the fish people. The fucking fish people, the befuddlers and the Striga mistresses, they just come from nowhere, you know? They just, they just fuck you. It's just the game telling you that, hey, you were too slow, so now you die. None of these are good for her. But I guess this gives her some health, so... Well, cross your fingers! Who's gonna be the lucky one? Blubber! That's fine, we can replace Blubber. It's fine. It's fine, although we lost one of our fucking herbs, burp, herbs people. That was... that was not good. Yeah, Treboslava is going to die. Treboslava will die and... Uh, it was... you might die. Bobra makes probably survives. He's above 30%, I think. He's fine. She's fine, she's fine. She's hurting. She might die. Oh fuck, a healer is going to die. Ah, oh. That's how it ends, I guess. Because once the healer is dead, we lose... We lose 8% decreased death chance. And then the rest of them will just buckle. This is how we lose. Wait a sec. Man. We got some good ones, though. Look at that. <laughs> Fuck! Every time, it's the goddamn, goddamn splicers. Goddamn splicers. Oh, it's the vault people. Deep fighters, blah blah blah. Wish them well. I don't want to ask them because last time I did the ask them to stay with me, we failed the, uh... Actually, I think we succeeded, but half of my people went insane from that, because it took so much yellow, so fuck that. Okay, sanity is okay now. Oh, Master Gatherer, that's 2.5, that's 2. Uh, who's dying? Yeah. These two are still kind of iffy. Aye, aye, aye. What I could do is quickly craft a... Uh, This. One point one for everything, or two point two for. Hmm. Actually, we still need one more faith regen, because faith regenerates by sucking HP. She's already minus HP, so we actually. 
Need one more of this, but we don't have enough fucking plants. We only get six per turn, and it uses 32. Oh, baby. Wait, wait a minute. If she can survive one more turn, two more turns, because then we can make this. She might die, we might lose our fucking healer. Oh! Bruh. Bruh, please. Uh... They made the spiritual regen, okay? She's back on health. Get rid of this. Everybody should be okay with... Uh... Purple. Yeah. Ugh. Just a little longer, just one more turn. If they survive the next this turn, then they're okay. Health and Senny, sure. Couldn't I make this out of better materials? Eight point two, eight point two. Four point six, yeah. It's almost double. And the gatherer person is going to replace someone there. And we didn't even get the goddamn research material on her, or on the uh, Strigas. And they will come back. They will definitely come back, they always come back. Yeah, definitely, we need someone with purple. Okay, she survived, holy fuck. <laughs> we only lost two people, and one we can replace. We get more health and sanity in the city as well. City. In the, this. Look, we have some uh, some block barricades up. Or did he always have that? <laughs> Shit. We need research now, so we can replace the uh, the house demon. The house demon was the only one with decent purple, and and he died because he he got fucked. There's no. No way around that, he got fucked. We have eight people. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's the rest? Oh, they're making this. Yeah, they need to research. But at least food is now extremely abundant. You know, it's fine. Only five types though, uh, instead of the eight, because we ate all the uh, the nut tincture, the berries, whatever else. I could make some meat berries, actually. Convert half of this meat into something that would get us up to six, or let us. Seven would seventy would be the the best. The three gen and the extra hit points. Uh, but I don't have enough people to just spread them up like that. Rah. Rah, 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 rah. We could do herb and fish. Going to save. Alright, virtuos. Thanks for hanging out. 
I'll, I'll hang on until winter ends, but I will end soon as well. Have a nice game, hey? Thanks. Go watch the replay. All right. Have a good one, man. Uh, how much herbs do we get? Get enough. Need to keep our morale up, so... Fish and herbs. There you go. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye. Spiders. No. No! Okay, spiders are nothing. Oh, thank God, it's the egg. We have been saved! Well, I mean, it's a little too late. Because it's only a. Like, it's a full heal and above. But, I mean, we're already kind of healed, so. Yeah. Trust your instincts, you know this to be true. <laughs> I have to manual this fucking challenge. What the fuck is this? Oh, I can put another one down. 28. Another archer, huh? Okay, that's nothing. That doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's a tank. Oh, what? This is ranged as well? Don't have any fucking melee? Oh, I do, but they are kind of weak. How many fucking things are there? Oh, they have four, so that's the last thing. Eh, so how much damage do we deal? 20, 26, 28. Boom, boom, boom. The Bucks. Bucks did a lot of damage. VDH shielding wouldn't be bad. Although, if I don't put anyone down here in melee, this fucker can attack anyone. Right now, that's that guy. Oh, actually, it's going through them. Yeah, they can attack anyone. Uh, fuck you, buddy. Now you're focused on this guy. Haha. <laughs> yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's only Sanity, be fine. Outmaneuver 28. I kind of want to kill the bugs. Oh, but it's melee. It's in melee, bro. So I have to attack the brain. Shit. And this guy also has to attack the brain. What a waste! What a waste! Although it's... Yeah. Completely safe pill has to be used on this guy. The AI is pretty okay in this. Like, they, they don't do stupid moves, is what I'm saying. I mean, I could kill this, but it's only 10 damage. I want to kill these fucking things. Ah! Ooh, ah! Ooh. <laughs> ah! Hey, cool. This guy's almost fucking dead. <laughs> I gotta go insane and leave. Oh, hey, we didn't actually lose sanity in this. Oh yeah, because it's a challenge. I, I remember now. If you win a challenge, you don't actually lose resources. It's only if it's an actual battle. 
So if it was fought with, with weapons and shit, then we would be losing sanity no matter what, right? Or maybe we are going to lose them after this. I think... Maybe that was in Thea 1? I don't, I don't remember, man. I don't know. I'm new to this game, alright? God damn. <laughs> Seven days, the egg hatches, and, and the new Rarog is born. It spreads its wings and engulfs all of your people in the warmth of its fires. All curses upon your village are immediately cured, and some of the people feel a blessing of Swarog upon them. Hey, 0 0.6. That's good, because he's the crafter now. And she's also the crafter. Okay, so the two strongest craftspeople gain more crafting. That's good. And we get a bunch of boost. For four turns we are... Unkillable. Praise the sun. Okay, good. I kind of want to clean up this fucking crypt. Because I'm paranoid. I, I... I think it can only spawn skeletons, but... What if fucking Strigas start coming out of it? Arr. What the fuck? These are both useless. Get luck. <laughs> so they get some speed on leveling up, I guess. Not much, though. I should look up how... How much luck factors in for experience bonus. Because it might not be worth it on adults, really. Alright, what are people doing? They were researching, huh? Ah. Uh. You have enough for one spirit restore. Okay, it's just the spiders and the bees, it's fine. Hey, an extra food source, or food variety, that's good. Helps our sanity a little bit. I need to make that dwelling as well. I need more researches for that. Shit! It's all falling apart. And as we kill these weaker groups, the stronger ones will spawn. It sucks. It's trash, it's trash, it's trash, that's decent. Actually, screw you, you're not going to get that. She should get it. Oh wait, she already has 28, never mind. Yeah, 24. Thirteen, eight point two. You have all to maneuver though, which is yellow. Destiny, she doesn't really have destiny, so that's fine. So yellow and red. So she would lose seven point six yellow. E yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna just trash this. Oh, that's lighter, that's nice. Actually, she can wield this, so the lighter shield I'll give to, I don't know, a child or something if they... Actually, this guy, this guy's weak. If I want stronger stuff on him, he needs a lighter shield. Break this, fuck it. 1.8, 1.6, but it's a, it's a goddamn legendary. 2.4, oh, that's pretty good. Oh! Two of those goddamn pieces of shit. And I'm sent into disarray. Move that.
Honestly, I should have went with Zoria again. <laughs> because that speed bonus during battles would be nice. It's springtime! We can actually see our surroundings. I need this dating game done. I need to I need to get a bonus from it. But who do I leave in the city? Chat. Those fucking spiders are still around. I'm so upset that Lizardman died. And also Blubber. That would be an extra person we could just leave in here. Oh yeah, and that's why I was doing research, because we need one point for it, I think. Yeah, one point to replace the idol. Ah, oh, shit. But I mean, that would take so long if we get one from this. We need 15. We need to make this 15 times. It's 15 turns. Well, less than 15, but... Bruh. I need events. I need village events to happen. 100%. Oh, Mastercrafted! I'm definitely giving that to the healer. Little increase. Actually, you are not going to take that. Nice, nice. 7.6, 7.6. 7.6 is what we make, right? Yeah. That was mastercrafted. Yeah. So that's done. We can't really make better things. I guess healing kits is what I should do on some people. Give a healing kit to the healer. That's done. Because I don't want to lose them. That's for sure. Whoa. 49, wait. 43 weight. Oh shit. Placing the idol, that would be with gems. They don't have enough granite, so a new idol is would be bad, worse. Actually, we can do it with uh, elven wood. Elven wood would be 4.8 for these instead of the uh, 6.4. Yeah, was... Actually, it's, it's not even 6.4 because it's trash quality, right? Oh no, it's not. It's this that's trash quality. Hey. Bruh. Who's not doing anything? Oh my god, level 4 befuddlers. Jesus, how long do they scale? I've seen a Striga Mistress with 6. On normal difficulty, they don't scale higher than 5, so... 
I mean, the sixth one was the one that attacked us. Eh. We're gonna wait for that healing bag. Skeletons are coming. It's fine. Skeletons are okay. Actually, those are not skeletons. Those are scavengers? Yeah, that's fine as well. Those are usually physical. Have an extra 1% reduction for death chance and 1.1 increased regeneration because they are important, right? They need to survive. Ugh. Better shields could be nice, but search. So how long? One, two, three, four turn or four movements. Here. And four movement back. These we can take easily. It's springtime. Oh wait, it's scorching, so we don't want to leave the uh, village now. Because we might get physical cursed. Ha <laughs> ha Wait, it says how long it turns. It lasts. Two turns, okay. Increased health, faith, and sanity recovery. Yeah, spring is when we need to move out. 100%. So we need to do King of Thor. We need to do this quest for the uh, Slavians. We need to do the dating game. I'm gonna wait for the Scorch. What? Uh, those fucking things! They're pissing me off. They will definitely attack once we leave. Yeah. I could move out and clear up, or clear clear up the area, but... Alright, Chosen. So you need a little more food. Because, you know. Oh, let's go. Let's go! Yeah. Enter the sex dungeon. You can also decide what sort of person will try you will try to woo. You're gonna go with a female, because I'm gonna hope for a witch. You will ask a series of questions, all right? How will you try to impress me? I call, folk call me old-fashioned, my lady, but I cook hearty meal for us, all right? Oh, nothing to impress you, it is you who will be impressed at the very sight of my prowess and vigor. Oh. I'll show you my wares. Okay, three is the witch, because I've, I've done this before. I think they are either a witch or a healer. <laughs> I think. Thank you. Where would you take me on a first date? Once home and hearth. No. That's a fucking dwarf. I think. Outdoor activities, sports and adversarial pursuits. That's probably someone with perception. Bones tell me it is already matched by Lady Lada. Hmm? Witch, 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 witch. Witch, healer? I don't know. You could. What would you change about yourself? I don't want to change anything. Embrace changes at every step? Well, jealous skirts have said I should hide my pretty face. It's just a scavenger witch, but it's a witch. They... they have rain of frogs. <laughs> they can get the book. They have a pet dove. <laughs> Holy shit. They are attractive, beautiful, and the magic user. Re refined. We need, we need Clarissa to live. Fuck. Clarissa is going to die because Mace is not good with purple. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. 
I don't think there's a reason for me to. Uh... If I forfeit, so Vito said that if we forfeit, we can save some of our shit, right? To so sure, I meant to forfeit this challenge. There might be bad consequences. I don't, I don't think I've ever forfeited something like this. We might just not get her, but I mean. I... What's her weapon? Her weapon is Random Blast 2 for 7.7 .7 and Ice Spike for 16.5 plus Rain of Frogs. Rain of Frogs 8.4 on everybody. She's got enough shielding. Um, 8.4 on everybody. Okay, these little concepts are going to die easy. These things hurt. Concept. Ranged heavy. And us. Bitch, you can't use Reign of Frogs? Oh, because this is a battle. Wait, it's not a battle. Why can't she use Reign of Frogs? Was Reign of Frogs not for... Um, spiritual? Can only summon trash rats. <sighs> She's oh. Uh, oh. Actually, they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Clarissa. <laughs> the pet dove saved them. If they didn't have the pet dove, they would be dying. Cool. They have a book. The book is actually better than what we have. That's literally the same but better. Nice, I guess we can break this. Right, we need more jewelry. It she looks the same as fucking uh, the healer. Oh shit! It's the same person. That sucks. Now we have an attractive, beautiful magic user. Oh, it's red and yellow, huh? That's fucking trash. <laughs> oh no. Because if it becomes very strong, right? And you put it out, it kills everybody. Unless you only put out this card. It's too weak for that. But it's okay, she can summon on Living Grant. It scales with mysticism. Life's may be a scavenger, but her inner beauty shines through the worn exterior and the light of Lada herself, herself warms Clarissa's gentle heart. The young witch is searching for love, but also seeks to better the hearts of others. Oh yeah. I mean, that's pretty good, because now we have all the good tags as well. Alright, that's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a breather now. <laughs> We're gonna lose this so fucking suddenly. But hey, I already survived for 186 turns. I, I call this a win. All I need to do now is... Uh, just... I think research... You know what I need to do? I need to research... Uh, Two-handed axes. Make a bunch of two-handed axes. Actually, not two-handed axes. I can make two-handed mallets or clubs with... Bloodbone and Ember. 
and uh, I could make some great swords, Bloodbone and Amber, and just uh, physical challenge the Lightbringers, because it's going to be probably around, right? I mean, we don't need to leave the starter biome for it. You can beat up some trolls with uh, tier 2 equipment, tier 1 and tier 2 equipment, right? <laughs> Leshy and the Rock Troll, yeah, easy. As soon as the fucking Strigus come back, we're, we're done for. We need to venture out. I need to get the scaled leather uh, as well. Yeah. Don't have enough people to just go out and, you know, get the artifact, get people. Maybe I should have waited with the uh, settling down. Maybe. Because now if I lose the settlement, I don't get that seed back. Until I complete the main quest, or or was it the half of the main quest? At some point, you get another seed, right? Chat. Well, whatever, dude. I'm done. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll pick this up tomorrow, and we might lose it. Yeah. Goodbye.